Hello Clarets fans, Phil Bird here. Make sure you subscribe to Burnley's official YouTube channel and turn on notifications, otherwise you might miss moments like this. Oh, what a goal! <laughs> and Wood was there to finish it! You're just big, like, little, oh. look at us. Enjoy the video and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Up the Clarets.
And it'll be a fantastic atmosphere here at the Amex. Burnley have won here, 2011. I'm sure you'll remember the game. Brighton had two players sent off inside the first 12 minutes. Kieran Trippier got the goal and uh, it was a fantastic win for Burnley. Now they're just waiting for the teams, Darren. Um, you just sense, you know, this is Burnley's biggest test maybe of the season. Yeah, you'd have to say so. I, I mean, could be looking a few weeks down the time at another top of the table clash in Middlesbrough coming yeah, here with, sure. with the form they're going to show. So it might be a, there might be even a bigger one to eclipse this one yet. But you're right, Phil. Biggest test of the season for Burnley. But, <coughs> excuse me, this team has shown the mentality they can handle big games. It's not a problem to them. A lot of big game experience in that side. An awful lot of big game experience. A lot of it gained in the Premier League. I do look around that Brighton side and I do wonder where the big game experience is. Yes. You know, that's yeah, one thing I would say. Yeah, yeah. Knockout, knockout was promoted with Leicester two and, years ago. But there's a ago. lot of expectation on Brighton and, a, and, a, and a, been a there. bit more pressure, I would suggest, on Brighton today than Burnley because they know if Burnley win, they'll not catch us. You know, well, we yeah. know that if we lose, we're still right in there. But if they lose, it yeah, could, it's it could be, be curtains to catch yeah, us. So there's yeah. a bit more pressure on I them. Do like your I psychology. Think today. I do like your psychology. That means nothing, of course, when the ball, when the ball kicks, but. I mean, they, they haven't been in the top flight since 83, so it's a long time since Brighton were right up there. We've had those two promotions. That, that can help in this scenario. I think so. I definitely think so. I think, you know, as I say, we've got that big game experience running through the side, really, um, from front to back. So, calm heads in the storm. You'd expect Burnley to have that in abundance today. And no Bobby Zamora, which is good news. Because well, I'll yeah. tell you what, he always scores against us. He likes to nick a goal, doesn't he? So, yeah, that's not bad news at all, I don't think, for Burnley. I thought he may have been on the bench, but uh, not, not in the 18. So that, in effect, is good news for the Clarets. <coughs> Just waiting for all the teams to emerge from the tunnel. Just to recap, two years ago, Burnley lost here 2-0. Tom Heaton harshly sent off that day. One of only five defeats for the Clarets that season. You sense it's the biggest game of the day outside of the Premier League. Because what's at stake is so, so enormous. Hello Clarets fans, Phil Bird here. Make sure you subscribe to Burnley's official YouTube channel and turn on notifications, otherwise you might miss moments like this. Oh, what a goal! <laughs> and Wood was there to finish it! You're the spit of Glenn Little, look at us. Enjoy the video, and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Up the Clarets. Here come the teams now, and it's just the Brighton subs just emerging first. A lot of noise here. They're certainly it's, cranking it up. Well, it, and it, the old stadium lends itself to a good atmosphere. The roofs all come over the stands and it, it bends in a little bit and it creates an atmosphere. It is a really great atmosphere and it's a packed stadium. I mean, It's a touch intimidating for us because we're actually surrounded by Brighton fans. Yeah, we had a nice little incident maybe two years ago when the uh, the two sending-offs happened. We had we had fans clamouring together, us, but hopefully right. none of that today. Mind you, if we score, Phil, I can't say I'll be able to control no. my emotions. Comes can might be... Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, to say the least. I think we're waiting for the TV. You sort of get the nod from the TV for the teams to emerge. Here comes the referee. Story about him, Craig Pawson. He was the referee two, year, two years ago, back in 2011, sorry, when they had two players sent off. Tom Heaton leading Burnley out. Chain strip for Burnley today. Yellow shirts, claret shorts, hoop socks. Brighton will be in their traditional blue and white stripes. Blue shorts, blue socks. Teams just to shake hands in the middle. Bruno's the skipper for Brighton. Of course, Tom Heaton for Burnley. A little bit harsh on Tom. He didn't get a cap, I think. Yeah, but there's three friendlies to go before England head off to France in the summer. The squad and, and provided he makes that. a squad, Phil, yeah. I'd fully expect him to get that, that cap he craves in one of those games. It'd be a little point for me in taking Tom Heaton to the Euros without having given him a bit of a blessing. Your third keeper's got to have played some games, surely. Exactly. Some game you, you time. need game time, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's why I was a little bit surprised he didn't give him the 45 minutes in the second half against Holland. But Royce Roy is his own man, and I know Tom's absolutely dying to become that first Burnley cap member in, what, 40, 40 years would it be? 42, yeah, isn't 42 it? Years. Martin drops to 74, yeah. I mean, we wish you well. That, that'll come, I'm sure. That'll come. But now it's about club commitments. 
teams break away. Just a recap on the sides for you. For Burnley, Tom Heaton in goal, Matt Lowton at right back, Stephen Ward, a former Brighton player at left back, Michael Keane and Ben Mee in the centre. In midfield, George Boyd, Joey Barton, 399th career appearance for Joey Barton today. David Jones and Scott Arfield back from international duty, full international now with Canada. Up front, another former Brighton player, Sam Vokes, he was here on loan alongside Andre Gray. Andre Gray scored home and away against Brighton for Brentford last season. On the bench, Paul Robinson, Dean Marnie, Michael Kiley, Matty Taylor, James Tarkovsky, Tenderiqua, and the really good news, a return for Ashley Barnes. He's worked ever so hard to get back. Former Brighton player. He always had this game just on the horizon, and he's back in the 18 today. For the home side, David Stockdale. One or two bits to talk about him, maybe having a chance of the England squad in the summer. Bruno, the captain at right-back. Rossinia, Liam Rossinia at left-back. He was with Reading when we beat them in the playoffs. Lewis Duncan, Connor Goldson in the centre. In midfield, a return today from Anthony Knockhart on the right-hand side. Jamie Murphy on the left-hand side. Through the middle, Baram Kayal and Dale Stevens. Dale Stevens, 10 yellow cards, but his 10th against MK Dons the other week. Up front, Sam Baldock and Tom Hammond. Hammond came off the bench and scored twice against MK Dons. On the bench, reserve keeper, Nicky Mampa, Gordon Greer, former Blackburn player, Gaetan Bong, the Cameroon international, James Wilson on loan from Manchester United, of course, Kasenga Loire Loire. Steve Sidwell, the former Arsenal and Chelsea midfielder, and Czech Republic international, Jiri Skalak. A referee, as I mentioned, Craig Pawson. He's got some memories of here from five years ago, but we're minutes away from the biggest game of the day outside of the Premier League. It is massive. Burnley will attack right to left on camera. Plenty of noise here around the Amex Stadium. Hope you can hear as loud and clear as home. Burnley will get us underway. Attacking right to left. The loop popped over my right shoulder, which uh, gave us a bit of a jump. Burnley will get us underway. Fasten your seatbelts, it's a massive one. Burnley get us underway at the Amex. Immediately back to Michael Keane in the bright, bright and sunshine. Folks to try and flick that on, to find Andre Gray. Turns, faces play as he got support. Gets it from Jones. Jones on for Barton. Barton looking to spread it wide for Lowton. Lowton inside for Barton once more. Just scoops it down the line. That's out of play. And that'll be a Brighton throw. We just want to subside that noise, I think, Darren, don't we? Yeah, keep it nice and quiet for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Don't give this crowd too much encouragement. We always say that in away games, but it, it, it's so keen when it's a sellout crowd like this and they're all frothing at the mouth at the excitement levels. Yeah, here's Michael Keane to win a good header near the halfway line. Barton to try and clip it on. Chase for Arfield, folks to touch it down for Jones. Just outside the centre circle, finds Stephen Ward, former Albion player, hooks it down the line looking for Arfield. Bruno, big and strong, wins it. Stevens inside for Kyle, impressed with him at Turf Moor, looking to get it forward for Hamid early here. It's touched back to uh, Tom Heaton, comfortable enough. Bit of a scuffle between Hamid and Keane there. Don't think Keane was too happy with the Israelis' contact. Now, a nice little touchback though, it was nice and easy for Tom Heaton. Eaton just took a knock in the warm-up, just as he was warming up. Flick on here from Volks, finds Gray. Mike Francis a shot here, hits it into the arms of Stockdale. We know what he can do when the ball falls in that manner. Just maybe didn't connect as he wanted. Release down this left-hand side for Murphy. Blocked well by Barton. Here's Kyle. Kyle, halfway line, just to feed it forward. Little bit of space here for Bright, middle of the park. Knockout screaming for it, screaming for it down this right hand side and gets it coming inside but loses out to Jones. Touch back by Dunk. Bruno just got it square for Goldson. Gray very nearly intercepted. High line here from the Clarets. It's going to come forward, looking through the middle for Baldock. Me just got caught there for me. Is it going to bounce in the box? Header away from Michael Keane. I thought Ben Me was fouled there. Referee didn't pick up on that. Here's Bruno. Crossing is dangerous. Keane with the head was fouled. Surely he headed that away. Touch back here towards Kaya from Stevens. Early pressure here from Brighton. Down that left hand side. Burnley got to defend well here. Cut inside nicely. There's cover though. Barton to win the challenge. 
Is it given as a foul? No, it's a throw on the far side. Listen to the noise levels here. Certainly getting behind their team. Throw taken quickly. Burnley defending their box here. Just clipped inside. Chance for Kyle, maybe. Just run away from him. Jones looking early for Gray. Goldson will jump with Gray here. Just touched it back towards Goldson. He just touches it back in turn to his keeper. Goldson gets it once more. Ball inside, finds Stevens. Back for Goldson. Thought about using his keeper. Formerly Shrewsbury defender. Goes longer, helps it on. Burnley just going to try and keep a touch of Knockhart down this left uh, right hand side now. On in turn for Baldock. Me got a touch out of play for a throw. The noise is definitely down. It's great atmosphere inside the stadium, it really is. And these are the moments Burnley need to stay strong. First five, ten minutes, keep Albion at bay. There's Bruno up against Arfield, deep inside the Burnley half. Looking for a one two, gets it back, the Spaniard. Looking to try and clip a ball in here. Knockhart with him. Just ball inside. Easily met by Barton. Scoops it forward. Had a one by Goldson. But he's just not keeping the ball in the opposing half at the minute. But Jones will help this on to Canadian international Scott Arfield. Ball forward. Finds Volks. Nice touch for Barton. Boyd's forward as well here. Lowton will collect. Back inside for Boyd. Boyd won here with Peterborough. I remember 4-2. Early on in his Peterborough career, but sent off against Brighton as well. Ball forward, wasn't appealed for offside. Gray aborted his run, and it's gone through to the keeper, Stockdale. I mean, it's going to be interesting how they cope with Volks and Gray. I think that's going to be the test, isn't it? Yeah, I say it again, Phil. I think there's a bit more pressure on Brighton than there is on Burnley today, and they know they have to keep that back door locked, because if Burnley go ahead in games, we know what the outcome normally is, Phil. Yeah, just twice, isn't it? 20 times Burnley have won. Just twice they've been pegged back for a draw. Stephen Moore with a big boot forward. And got under it a little there, Dunk, but gets it back to his keeper, Stockdale. Signed by Roy Hodgson for Fulham. I, I noticed that was mentioned in the week. Does that mean he could be looking to him for the England scene? It's gone wide for Murphy. Murphy coming inside and caught by Boyd. That'll be a free kick. It's a good 45 yards from goal. Brighton look to build again. Bright sunlight, a lovely day, lovely April day on the south coast. Here's Dunk to try and get it forward, looking for Bruno. That's left by Arfield, and that'll be a Burnley, a Burnley throw. Left hand side with Stephen Ward he was on loan here from Wolves. Helped them uh, get promoted. Ball inside, touch back for Ward. Was relegated here with Wolves as well. Gray to try and touch it on, away by Dunk, got two on him here then mate, had to win the header, next ball's won by Stevens. touch wide for Knockout, men in the middle, for the Frenchman to have a run here, looks to get the cross in, Michael Keane nice and easy on the volley and away, touch wide here by Kyle, but it'll run out of play, there'll be a throw to the Clarets, just need a, a quieter spell in the game, don't we, just to calm uh, things okay, down. They've settled well Burnley, the, you know, a couple of early headers for Michael Keane, and Ben Mee to deal with, but they settled quite well, so that's what you would hope. Fingers crossed. Here's Lowton with the throw, looking for Volks. Easy to win it, helps it on for Gray. Gray to touch it inside. Arfield got men on here. Uses Stephen Ward, just bobbing down this left hand side. Can he deliver the cross here? Cuts inside nicely. He's going to look on his right foot here. Looks to try and help it on. Chance here for Boyd. Hits it well, but blocked by the defender. He'll get another chance here. Ball into the mix. Stockdale, easy take. Side his six yard box. Just couldn't wrap his boot round it. The out ball is very quick for Murphy as he kept that in play just. But that'll be Tom Eaton's, I think. No worry for the keeper. Good from Burnley there, switching the play right to left. Stephen Ward might have swung it in first time, you know, you've got some Volks in there in the form he's in, get the ball in the box, but he cut onto his right foot. And then, of course, he had to try and get back on his left. Managed to feed George Boyd in the channel, just on the corner of the area. But Boyd, he's shot blocked, but good from Burnley. It's back with Tom Eaton, we've played six minutes. Brighton over Albion nil, Burnley nil. Third against first in the Skybet Championship. Volks offside, took it down on his chest. Bruno was quick to appeal. None of the other defenders were looking across. It's a free kick to Brighton. Just to recap on the Burnley bench, Ashley Barnes. What a, what a job he's done to get back, Darren. Yeah, he was hoping this was his game he had pencilled in to be back for. I think he'd rather be out there playing, but you never know. Burnley need a goal later on in the game today. You wouldn't bet against Ashley Barnes no, being on there, would you? No, with no Hennings, he'll be the man that's shown Dyche. What a story that would be, by the way. Last-minute winner, Ashley Barnes. Yeah. 
He's got a knack of getting important goals, as we know from two years ago. <clears throat> got 20 goals when they won the Division One title here. Ball forward from Stockdale. Keen to jump across here and win it. Wins it comfortably. Next ball in from Kyle. Nice touch here from Ahmed, but well read by Lowton. Gets it forward for Gray. Nice turn. Is he looking for Volks? Gray to hold things up a little here. Did well because Sam had strayed offside. He yes, was going to try have. and feed him, but because he strayed offside, Andre could have used his pace himself because he was he had plenty of area to run in behind. Yeah, did well with it. Under hit here from Jones. Ward couldn't collect. Burnley thought it might have been a foul. As Knockart dived in a touch there, and Sean dived straight to the fourth official. Didn't look a great challenge, to be fair, from Knockart there, Darren. No, a bit of late, bit late, but uh, he got away with it. Sean Dyche making the point. Darren Deadman's the fourth official. Didn't seem to want to know when uh, Sean Dyche was asking him there. Burnley just crowded the man out here, but helped on towards Bruno. He's dangerous coming forward. Touch back inside. Going to release Kyle, centre circle. Israeli international, former Celtic player, touched on for Hamed. Hamed looking to turn, face play, have a shot. Easy one for Tom Heaton. Very comfortable for Tom Heaton. Nine minutes on the watch. It remains goalless. Here's Lowton. And Sean Dyche having another word with Darren Dedman. Here's Gray on the chase. Dunk across to deal with it. As they knocked it out of play, he's out of corner. Yep. It is. First corner of the afternoon goes the way of the Clarets. Now then, this will be a time to score. Oh, don't get me all excited, Phil. <coughs> hey, well, listen, while we're for the corner, um, birthday boy, Don Kirkham, out in Manitoba. Happy birthday, Don. Hi, Don. Good to have you with us again. It's going to be David Jones to deliver this. Right-hand side, left foot in swinger. Plenty in the middle to aim at. Gets it right in the mix, keeper collects. Too poor. near the keeper. Yeah, Too poor corner that. Rolled out for Murphy, and Murphy just keeping him play, does he? No. That's the out ball, isn't it? Immediately Stockdale gets it. He bowls it out, what, 40 yards, looking for Murphy down that left-hand side. Yeah, two or three side. times in now, straight away, they've, been, they've rolled that ball out to the left wing, and that's obviously a tactic that Chris Hooten's going to use to try and get Brighton back on the attack as quickly as possible. So into Burnley, just inside the Brighton half, though. Yes, with Matt Lowton. Lowton looking down the line. Folks to flick on. Dunk's got a touch, and he had to prevent the corner. It will be a throw right by the corner flag. Dunk looks a little nervous with the pace of Andre Gray. Right by the corner flag with Matt Lowton. Ten minutes gone. Burnley just taking the time. In fact, it's a corner, I think, isn't it? It's a corner. It's right on that far side. It's a corner to the Clarets. David Jones across to take it. This time, Stephen Moore stands on the keeper. Yeah, yeah. A lot of movement in that six-yard box. Swung right in there. And a one! Oh, just one of the target from Barton. Not as close as I first thought. <laughs> Barton with a glancing header. Uh, Awful lot of barging going on there with the yeah. keeper as well. He caught the first one, the keeper. And I think Burnley decided, right, we're going to stick someone on you. Stephen Ward went right onto him. Salter was trying to push him out of the way. Stephen Ward was almost at 45 degrees, leaning back into him. And there's all sorts going on in the six-yard box. But Joey Barton and Mark Rose Highest just about got a glancing header to it. Wide it went, no danger. Knockout just went to the bench there to have a word. I just wonder if he's got a problem. Wins the header though, in the middle of the park. Kyle to flick on. Ball doctor touch it on for Ahmed. On in turn for Knockout. He's got space here. Can he get the ball in the middle? It's a dangerous one in the mix, but Tom Eaton to collect. Poor ball in in the end from the former Leicester player. And Tom Eaton, easy one to deal with. Rolls it out for Barton, who had that chance moments ago. Just gets it wide for Boyd. Boyd back in turn for Lowton. Lowton inside for Barton, under pressure, uses Keane, all square here, nil apiece, it's with Ben Mee, one of Burnley's three ever presents this season, Ben Mee to clip it forward, it's a little bit aimless, chase for Gray, putting his man under pressure, Galton had to clear, Ward to jump here with Canockhart, will it break for Jones, it will, did well there Jones, got caught for me, free kick just by the touchline, Canockhart caught his man, he was a bit fortunate earlier, when he dived in, Craig Corson just tells the Frenchman he's caught his man, it's right by the touchline. Joey Barn to take it, so he'll swing it in, right-footed, the signals holding the ball aloft. So that means Ben Mee can come forward. Michael Keane in there as well. Just having a word with David Jones, I think Joey Barton says, well, you take it. Suits you a little better. Interesting there, Joey Barton just making the decision. 
He's a leader out there, Joey, isn't he? Real leader out there. Here's Jones, then, left foot. Looks to just get it towards Ben Mee. Wins the header, into the box. Knocked down. Might still break, but Stockdale to grab it. Nobody really got a sight of goal there. And immediately, do get rid of it quickly. Looking for Baldock. And that might just test Lowton here. Baldock down this right and sand, waiting for support. There are counter-attack sides, you know. Bowling sides, nice. Chance here, maybe. Burnley've got to clear the lines here. Michael King with a touch. Will fall in here. Burnley've got a block. Still might fall over the bar. Now, what are we seeing here? I don't think Burnley are maybe just quite ready for the count, the quick counter-attack. They're so quick coming forward, Brian. The keeper wastes no time at all. And it was a 70-80 yard punt upfield of Fon Baldock. He then held the play up really well. And suddenly Burnley were backtracking in numbers to try and match them. Really good play from Brighton that, but thankfully Burnley stood, stood firm at the back. Last shot was from uh, was senior. Just a word from Scott Arfield. Is Scott Arfield struggling here? Just had a word with the bench. I wonder if Scott Arfield struggling. Just went across to the bench and had a quick word. Lowton to win the header. Boyd touch back for Boyd. Goes wide for Lowton again. Halfway line for the former Villa man. Clips it forward. Rossini to win it. Rossini to win it a second time. Murphy to get it forward. Burnley just under the cosh a little here. Hammer to try and get it wide. Won by Lowton. Had to go for it and had to win it. And clears it on the volley. No offside. Gray not playing any part to be fair. It's with Goldson. Goldson looking forward. Looking to pelt it down that left-hand side for Murphy. They're almost playing Murphy, Darren, right up on Matt Lowton. Yeah, trying to get at him, and that's the way... Well, they've obviously spotted Burnley's what they perceive to be weaknesses, but Burnley's defence has been a strong positive throughout the season. There aren't many weaknesses in this Burnley side to expose. No, no. Uh, the evidence is there, isn't it? Burnley top of the home form, top of the away form. And, of course, haven't lost in three months. No, work here for Ben Mee, couldn't quite reach it, couldn't quite reach it. Just going to break for Joey Barn. No, we don't think it's a knock for, uh, for Scotty. Just having a quick word, might be tactical with the bench. Thanks, Jackie. And it's going to come to Murphy on that left-hand side, Rossini on the overlap. Burnley got to get close to these two. Rossini might look to get a ball in, maybe on his wrong side. He's normally right-footed, cuts back inside, looking to tease his man. He'll get it in on his right foot, I think, eventually. Uses Murphy. Murphy to deliver in there. Might still fall, but Ben Mee's going to come away with the ball. Nice and calm, Ben Mee. Looking to get it down that right channel for Gray. Too much on it, and it'll run out for a throw. It's a strange one, because both sides almost rely on the counter-attack, don't they, Darren? Yeah, I was just going to say that. For a home side, the counter seems to be a real strength of Brighton's, and Burnley, of course, happy at the moment because it's nil-nil just to sort of say well it's up to you Brian to make all the running we've come here to win the game but we've come to win it on our, on our terms Lowton to try and win that who's that come off must have got a touch off Matt Lowton throw again just having a word it's Tony Lochran with Ian Warren and the gaffer we think Scott's fine Scott Arfield is fine Blackburn a one-up against Preston Elliot Ward's got that goal big central defender <coughs> and this is going to be a throw to Brian right hand side with Bruno Salter the Spanish captain and right back goes back for Connor Goldson 16 minutes on the watch with Stockdale a very patient side Brian economical with the ball just wait for the opportunities Murphy just on that left hand side just closed down will break for Brian once more the senior to take the throw. Fair to say it's yet to ignite the game, Phil. Yeah, back with Rossini, yeah. Burnley think they've won the throw and they have. Good work from the Clarets. Joey Bart heavily involved. Throw for Burnley, right hand side. With Matt Lowton. Sean Jice just checking something with his spat ring staff. Right behind the dugout today. One or two of the subs warming up. That's the uh, noise from the stands. Flick on here from Volks. Diving header from Dunk. 
Battling away there is Jones. Break on that left-hand side. Stab forward. Chase for Hamed. Oh, Keane got under it a little, but won the header. Got it back to his keeper. Just bounced awkwardly, didn't it? But he did ever so well. You see the gaffer there just wanting a little bit more from his players at the moment. He, you know, Burnley doing OK, but, but the, he just needs a little bit of raising the tempo, I think. And that's what Sean Dyche is indicating. Brighton just having a little bit too easy their own way at the minute. Yeah, you can't let them dictate play, I don't think, or the tempo of play. Oh, and can of course... Um, Baldock's beating the offside trap here, down this right-hand side, Knockout screaming for it inside, good chance here for Knockout looking to hit it, into legs, Ben Mee's got it away, taking the bang here Ben Mee, free kick anyway, and Knockout you know, that's three fouls for me now, he's caught Ben Mee, his first one was a poor one, and he's just caught Ben Mee in the Burnley box again, but to be fair to the referees, going across and having a word, almost telling the lad to calm down a touch. Ben Mee's OK. Caught the offside trap, though, there. Passed yeah. in behind Stephen Moore. When we looked up, he looked offside, but it must have timed his run perfectly because the linesman was right in front of him. But thankfully for Burnley, it came to nothing again. Ben Mee started the game as he's played the season so far. He's a real sort of visionary back there, isn't he? He sees everything before it happens. It's a test for Stephen Moore today <laughs> against yes. Anthony Canocco. I thought he was really good in Leicester's championship winning side. Had a one here by Jones, chase for Boyd, but the break for a senior. Those two big mates up against each other today. Barton's caught his man, we're playing on, they've got possession. Lawton's caught his man this time. And it's just outside the centre circle. I'll tell you now, it'd be incredibly harsh if either Burnley player are booked here. Well, I don't Knockout's know. Knockout's got away with three. Joyce, yeah, well, but Joyce was a late one and he looks in a bit of distress there. Does, is it Dunk? I can't quite tell who it is. Of course, the fans want Barton sent Kyle. off. Because he's back to my villain, but and Joey's obviously gone down like he does just to sort of can't card a Burnley player here for me, not after what Knockhart's got away with. Free kick, yes, nothing more. Craig Porton's just gonna have a word. It's because it's sometimes it is because it's Joey Barton, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think the foot was raised a little bit. I think he's caught him probably where you don't want to mention it, but he's got away with it. Of course Quick word from the referee. Experienced referee. And the referee let, let player go on as well. He can't very well book him now, I don't think. Might have a quick word with Matt Lowton as well. He's given it for the second offence, hasn't he? So that means it's further forward. It's into the Burnley <laughs> half, 50 yards from goal. Crowd feel agreed, but I, I don't think the referee had any choice there after what had happened with the three Canocart incidents. Free kick, middle of the park, just not wide here. Rossini to bomb forward, uses Murphy. Murphy to tease his man. He'll get to the byline, hook it back. Burnley's got to clear this, it's going to be a goal kick in the end. No worries for Tom Heaton and his defence. Knockhart had just moved to that left-hand side. We'll come back to the right now. The two form sides of the division, these, Phil, going back to the last ten games in the division, we talked about this on Turf Moor, our studio show this week. If you take the last ten games in their entirety, Burnley top the form table, Brighton second. So both these sides banging form coming into this one. And Brighton, of course, who many people would thought would fade away as the season went on, have seemed to have got a second win now. Yeah, 22 unbeaten at the start, wasn't it? Folks to win this header, looking to take it down and hit it. Why did the target? Number 10 in 14 coming into today. Took it down well, had too much space, I think, for Brighton's liking. And then hit it right-footed, didn't get the power or the direction. Why did the target? Probably Burnley's best chance of the game. On 21 minutes, fell to Sam Volks. He's in the form of his life, almost. And that's hard to believe, having done what he's done two years ago. Kick from Stockdale, header on here from Hamed. Lotson to try and get it back to his keeper. There's a little bit, <laughs> a bit of height on it. It interested Baldock, but Eaton got there with a bit to spare. Looking through the middle here for Volks, header won by Goldson. Stevens to help on. Got away down this right-hand side, Knockhart got the better of Ward. Ward struggling against him a little. Knockhart's the danger here, but Ben Mee again to cover it. Do really well, Ben Mee. Just saved Stephen Ward there. Bruno Soltar to win the header. Looking to find Kyle. Kyle for a senior. A senior for Murphy down that left-hand side. Burnley just been tested a, a touch now. Rossini looking to go on the overlap. And Murphy tries to use him. Goes to the tech, deck too easily. Burnley've cleared the lines. But Gray at the minute, Darren, is isolated. Yeah, the out ball in the moment isn't, isn't finding Andre Gray, and that allows Burnley a foundation to get out of defence. The out ball's just finding a Brighton man, and it's coming back at Burnley. I mean, it's nice and solid from Burnley at the minute. Don't, no real panics in there, but 
I think Burnley just need to get a little bit tighter to Knockhart, I think. Knockhart coming in now, helps it on to Hamid. Hamid looking to get a shot away here inside the D. Burnley've crowded him out. Here's Jones, that's what Burnley do so well. Arfield under pressure here, have to clear his lines here. Brighton put him under pressure, but Arfield did well. Here's Bott, here's Botton, looking forward, looking for Gray. Gray on the chase, looking to put Dunk under pressure. Got the better of him, and Dunk has to knock it behind in the end. That's you know, it. It looked a lost cause, didn't it? And he got the better of Dunk. And that puts seeds of doubt in Dunk's mind now straight away. He knows that Andre Gray's got the better of him over a 10 yard sprint. So that puts immediate doubt into his mind. And it does it show you when you get that out ball right to Andre Gray, as Joey Barton did there, suddenly you're in behind. Now you've got a corner and you can move players up the field 20, 30 yards. Yeah, that's a player coveted by Premier League clubs, Lewis Dunk. So he's a quality central defender. Gave away the penalty at Turf Moor, remember. Nearly had Michael Keane's shirt off his back. Third corner of the afternoon. To take it on that far side, David Jones swings it in. Good delivery, header one. It's over the bar from Sam Volks. It's a real battle on the edge of the six-yard box. Got a good free header on that as well, Sam. Yeah, it was looks a good, disappointed, doesn't he? A good half chance that for Sam, you know, because it's come in. He's risen highest. I think he's probably... Yeah, he's pretty much by the... But, but the Brighton player gets a late challenge on him, which just about in the corner of his eye probably puts him off, but largely that's a, that's a disappointing one from Sam. You would expect him to be better than that. But made to win the header. Jones to try and win the next ball. Knockhart gets there above him. Bruno Salta coming forward from right back. Men in the middle to aim at. We'll try and find a ball here, Knockhart. Helps it on for Stevens, the former Oldham player. Wide in turn for Murphy. Spreading it nicely, Brian. Looking to test Burnley. Murphy with a shot to poor one. High and mighty. And Burnley have got themselves a goal kick. Midway through the half, and I think Sean Dyche will be pretty happy with the way things are going. I think he'll just want his side to up the tempo a little bit, but by and large, Brighton have been at arm's length. We know where their threats are coming from now, and it's down this right-hand side. They're going to try and get at Stephen Ward every opportunity. So the game's panned out. I suppose how Sean might have wanted it, really. Burnley keeping it nice and tight, and I was going to say quiet in the crowd, just I say that, they raise the volumes again, but... Six unbeaten here, last side to win here. Well, Wolves, incidentally, on uh, New Year's Day. Connor Goldson on goal that day. It's with Stockdale. He'll kick it out of his hands. Big boot. Started at York, Stockdale. Burnley to try and win it, will it break here for Hamed? Looking to touch it on Hamed, blocked by Ben Mee, will break for Murphy. Chance to get a ball in here, which well, got a deflection. Made it awkward, but Tom Heaton, big shout from him. Got Michael Keane out of the way. He <laughs> just barged it into Baldock. Um, that was part of the reason, it's a second yellow card at that end, two years ago, when he was barged, let go of the ball, picked it up, and the referee deemed it a yellow card. It was a ridiculous decision at the time. Burnley's got a throw. Do remember, Thomas Kuzak was in the opposing goal. Sean Dice sought him out after to try and get an explanation of what the referee had done. Here's Stephen Ward, throws it back to Ben Mee. Uses Barton. 399th career appearance for Joey Barton today. Finds Lowton, on for Boyd. Boyd, that right touchline, not really got in the game yet. Uses Barton, touches it forward again for Boyd. Boyd needs support here, gets it from Jones, just rolls it into the centre circle. Jones on in turn for Ward. Ward back inside for Jones. Jones inside for Keane. Patient from Burnley. Here's Lowton, uses Barton. Barton looking towards Boyd. It's big mate Rossini wins the header, though. Kyle under pressure and loses out. Burnley should collect this if they can. Arfield in to win it. Fair and square. Nothing wrong. He's picked up a knock in the process, I think. Can knock out. What a piece of skill. But Stephen Ward was just strong there. Knockout's got to get up, surely. There was no foul there for me. Stephen Ward was just strong. And he needed to be because it's a beautiful bit of skill for oh, what a turn. He what took a, turn. a ball that dropped out of the sky, did a little Cruyff turn with it, first time, and it almost caught him out. Folks to win that header, heads it on for Gray. Gray just runs into numbers. Kyle is very busy, wins it, finds Bruno. On in turn again here for Knockhart. He's been the centre of attention in the first 26 minutes in more ways than one. Stevens back for Goldson. Nil-nil here. Amex Stadium. Oh, it's a poor ball from Goldson. And Dunk has gone into the advertising hoardings to try and keep it in play. Oh, what a poor ball that was from Goldson. Dunk's OK, thankfully. Retrieved it. 
1-1 Preston. Preston 1-1. Equaliser from Preston, penalty spot, I think I saw there. Joe Garner from the penalty spot. Former Blackman player, big Blackman fan, isn't he, Joe Garner? <clears throat> Burnley throw, right-hand side, with Lowton. Ashley Barnes just warming up, going back to the dugout. And he got a nice round of applause from the Brighton fans as well, yes, which is it, nice to see. Yes, they announced the teams here, and he got a really good, really good reception. Played a big part in their promotion from uh, League One. Boyd trying to make progress down that right-hand side. Dummies the cross one time, helps it on to Lowton, but they've got it back. And I think uh, Boyd's just caught his man by the corner flag. Q mass has hysteria here. It'll be a free kick, nothing more. I'll tell you what. They like the 50-50s to go their way, don't they? Brighton fans, my goodness. Yeah, I think it was a foul, wasn't it? But I didn't see it any more than that. They were screaming for uh, justice. Oh, Duffy. Shane Duffy sent off. I assume giving away the penalty. Blackburn won. Preston North End won. 7,000 Preston fans there today. And Box to flick on. Sorry. Blackburn have already used two subs, apparently, there as well. Oh, right. Burnley battling for possession near the halfway line. It's touched on by Kyle, who's excellent. And he's gone forward as well, the Israeli. Murphy, left-hand side, former Motherwell player, just looking to tease Lowton. He's got men in the middle, touch back for his senior. Slow, slow, slow build-up, but then they've released a ball, found Baldock. Baldock to try and cut it inside. That's the first corner of the game for Brighton. It's a nice, slow, slow build-up, and they found a man in the box. Yeah, found a man lurking in a box, Burnley switched off for a second, but thankfully Michael Keane was aware to it, got himself across, made the block. But danger here, corner to Brighton. Yeah. Wolves, of course, scored from a corner in that dramatic finale. Stevens to take it, Dale Stevens, former Bury player, right foot in-swinger. Bowled up right on the keeper. It's going to come in now. Burnley got to try and deal with it. Bruno's peeled away. Good header down. Might fall in there. Good block. Another corner. Super block in there. Burnley just got bodies in the way because it was a nice little move. Bruno peeled to the back post, won the header and headed it right down and towards the middle of the goal area. But Burnley got bodies in the way. Approaching the half-hour mark. Another corner for Brighton. Bruno Soltan moves away from this one. This is left foot in swinger towards that near post. Touch on. And you're bundled in, it is. At the far post. It's bundled in. And it's Dale Stevens, I think. Burnley are behind here on 30 minutes. Touch was from a Burnley player. Bundled over the line by Dale Stevens. It's Brian Novalbion 1. Burnley nil. Oh, what a scrappy goal to go behind to. Yeah, right at the far post. It gets a flick on at the near post, which does for the Burnley players, I think. In fact, it flicks off his own man. Yeah. And then at the far post, somehow, somehow it goes in. Yeah. Oh, it's a, a ter- you know what? It's a terrific little finish, to be fair. Stevens has got the finish. I think it might be David Jones he's flicked off, but it is a lovely little finish at the back stick. Just about gets something on it. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's a miss kick, I think. I think it's a miss kick at the back post on the volley. It's enough to take it past Tom Heaton. And now, this is a test. This is a test. Listen to the noise, because Brighton have got the lead here. Scrappy goal on the half-hour mark. Burnley have got to find a way back from here. Boyd to flick on and out of play, and that'll be a Brighton throw. Left-hand side. Whoa, Darren, this is a test now, isn't it? Absolutely, Phil. This is what the Championship's all about. It sets these challenges for you. The disappointing thing from Burnley's point of view, it came out of nothing. It's a soft one to concede. You know, they've been so solid and tight back there. Now Burnley have to make the running. Yeah, it wasn't close enough to Bruno on the first corner. If they'd have marked him very tight, I think they'd have probably defended the first corner better. Barton battling away here to try and win it. Touched on, Barton goes down. That's a free kick, surely. Nope, told to get up. Referee not interested. Crowd having a go at Barton. Touch back here to Resenia. Looking to get it forward. Lowton to take it on his chest. Lofted forward. Had a one by Jones. Has he taken it out of play? Lowton. Is the referee booking Joey Barton here? What? He's having a word with Joey Barton, telling him to calm down. Joey Barton thought he was fouled. Dale Stevens, to be fair, is getting in there now. Is he trying to calm things down? Referee's having a word here with Barton. I think it's just a ticking off for the minute. That's excited the crowd. Again, Sean Dyche with the fourth official. Throw on that left-hand side with Rossinia. Looking to throw it down the line. He's nearly in the halfway line now. Stevens, the scorer, to touch it back. 
It's his sixth of the season, Dale Stevens. Separates the two sides here. Ward to win the header. To get it forward towards Volks. Took it down well, Volks, and caught by Stevens just outside the centre circle. The referee certainly looking to keep his cards in his pocket, Darren, isn't mm. he? Good, that's the way you want it. You don't want this game spoiled by a referee, an over officious referee. Having sent two uh, Brighton players off inside 12 minutes here five years ago, another word with Barton from Craig Pawson. Free kick Burnley just outside the centre circle. 13 minutes to half time. Clipped in by Lowton, looking towards Michael Keane, header half away, Burnley will take the corner, down this left-hand side this time. So across comes David Jones to take it. Jones first, to try and deliver sorry, in the Phil, middle, sorry. Sorry, Phil, first goal was always going to be a crucial one today, you know, it set the scene for whatever happened and, you know, Burnley now have, have to find that extra gear from somewhere, they've done it so often this season, need it once more. Jones to deliver. Swinging it in, right in the mix, head of one, but one of the target, still in there, yes! Burnley level, it's Andre Gray, Burnley a level, from close range, oh he's got a great record against Brighton, and he's touched one in from close range, 12 minutes to half time, Brighton of Albion one, Burnley one, and it's Andre Gray on the score sheet again. Johnny on the spot Phil, the corner comes in, I mean we were talking about the set piece from Burnley, this time the ball goes to the back post, it's, yeah, I think a Burnley player on the deck, we can't quite tell from here in a bundle of bodies who he hits, but he just stops the ball dead in the six-yard box. Who pounces? Andre Gray. Fantastic finish. Yeah, from close range. If uh, Brighton's goal was scrappy, well, certainly Burnley's was, but do we care? No. Burnley a level. A corner from David Johns caused Mayen. Knockhart trying to just get through the middle here. Help it on to Stevens. 23rd of the season for Andre Gray. Shot from distance, wide of the target. All well, this game has opened up. Bryant think it might have been a corner. Don't think it got a touch. And Burnley have got a goal kick. And just calm it down now. <laughs> Only behind three minutes, Darren. It's about half past two, Phil. Calm it down. You, yeah. were saying, you were saying the first goal's crucial. Maybe not so. Well, Maybe it, not so. they can be in these games. It's a bit like at Burnley on in the season. Remember when Bobby Zamora yeah, yeah. was scoring very yeah. early in the game and Burnley hit straight back? Lightning does strike twice. Yes, Andre Gray again. 23 for the campaign. Nearest challenger, Ross McCormack, 19. He is odds on to win that uh, title. Me to get it forward. And that'll be a throw right hand side. Bruno waiting for the ball. All square here. Dave, stop the ball. Where did he on? It's back with Stockdale. Like hits more than a stop. Here's uh, Dunk, Dunk to get it forward, looking long, chase through the middle, keen to win the header, but goes wide for Murphy, lot in this game, Murphy ball in, Eaton coming to collect, Clyde's with his own man, he's okay, good take, Stephen Ward right in the mix as well. It's Stephen Ward, we think, the goal. Yeah, you're, you're just clarifying that. We're just, we're, I mean, we're miles away from it over here, and it's a bundle of bodies, but yeah, flicked on, David John's corner. David yes. Jones corner, yes. flicked, yeah, on by, corner yeah. flicked on by Michael Keane, and it's almost like stopped dead on yeah. the six-yard box. Looked like he was going Stephen out of play Ward. on that far yeah, side, Stephen didn't Ward it? was there, and he just tried to swing it in, I think, and it just came off him and landed straight dead in the six-yard box, and Andre Gray just pounced for his 23rd First, season. 23rd. 21 for us, two for Brentford. Scored home and away against them last season. So he's got a good record, hasn't he? Against... Albion, Stephen Ward to stab it forward, here's Gray again, looking to turn away from Goldson, Goldson has to concede the corner, oh he's having a good game, Andre Gray, stopped now furious with his defence, another corner, can they deal better with it, don't strike me as a big side, David Jones across to take it again, I did wonder if a right footer had curled it in from that side, but thankfully Jones took it and he's going to take this as well, one each at the Amex Stadium, to deliver here, yet again, is David Jones. Just dinks it in towards the near post. Ooh, rose well. Michael Keane couldn't guide it on target. Header wide and high. Goal kick for Brighton. That has quietened the crowd, hasn't it? Darren? Absolutely, absolutely. Good chance that for Michael Keane there from the corner. You know, he rose highest and they caused trouble from corners, Burnley, when they put it in there. The big men have got up there and caused a big one every header, I think. 
Yeah, corner, they're so not far. a big side. I don't think they're a big side. Get Dunk out of the way. I don't think the biggest of sides. That's come off Boyd. It'll be a throw down this right-hand side. Now, uh, eight minutes to half-time. Would you take this at half-time, would you, Darren? All day long, Phil. Bruno Salter with it. Right-hand side, nicking a yard or two. Always a pet eight of mine. Looking for movement. Burnley marking up tight. It's gone short. Back to uh, Bruno Salter again. Jones meeting him. The Spaniard's got a trick or two, trying to turn away. Ball inside, touched on. Nice little one-two. Kyle's got away from Barton for the minute. Barton trying to get back at him. Half blocked. Chance in there, wide of the target. There's no offside flag. Yeah, oh, there is. Oh, there is. Has it gone up eventually? It's gone up eventually. Fans were in our way. Eventually, the flag went up. And that uh, wouldn't have counted. Did look strange. The flag did go up eventually. And Burnley. I've got themselves a free kick. Bad Sorry, miss, though. Sorry still, for the nerves. Still a bad miss. <laughs> the shot from Edgy area. Cannoned off a couple of players and it left two Brighton players clearing on goal. Point blank range with only heating to beat. And I, I don't know who was that put it wide. Was it the big man? Yeah. Ahmed? Ahmed, I think. Yeah, Barton picked up for a foul near the halfway line. I've got to say, just before that, I thought Sam Volks was pushed. And again, Sean Dyche goes to Darren Deadman, the fourth official. I've got to say, I don't think Burnley have had the run of the decisions at the minute. Ball forward looking for Knockart. Ward to win a header. Boyd needs to help him here. Hook it away right-footed, only as far as Bruno. Bruno to drive forward. Right-hand side with Knockart. He's a danger today. He's caused Burnley problems. And Boyd's moved across now to this side. Arfield right-hand side. I think that's to try and counter that. Oh, good little turn from Bruno Salter. Ball inside. Can he find his man? Shot saved by Heaton. Pours it away. Was bowled up with the shot. Corner to Brighton. This has limened up a little. Good save from Tom Heaton. You'd expect him to make it, perhaps. But a good save, nonetheless. Corner, right-hand side. Going to be delivered. One arm aloft. Swung in. Right into the mix. George Boyd with a good header away. Good firm header as well. Kyle to head it back for Bruno. Great. Encouraging his teammates to come forward and close down. Gone back to the keeper. That's upset. The home crowd, Stockdale looking to get it for Murphy and out of play. Now, we're, we're hearing a few groans, aren't we, Darren? Good, that's what you want, Phil. I think a couple of times now the keeper's put it out on that left-hand side, two or three times now. I think that's what it is, it's just a... Uh, it's a, di a difficult one. That, really. It's a diagonal ball that the keeper's trying. He's not going to get that right every time. He's almost trying to pinpoint Murphy, who's hugging the touchline. It's a difficult one for a keeper, I think. Flick on from Volks, Gray on side. Back for Volks again, those two linking well together. Touched inside for Lowton. Lowton inside for Jones. Jones under pressure here, but quickly on for Ben Mee. <coughs> Here's Keane. Five minutes to half-time. Brighton won. Burnley won. Andre Gray with the equaliser for the Clarets. Dale Stevens for Brighton. Back for Ben Mee. Just squares it for Michael Keane. Played a part in the goal. Won the first header. Keane looking longer here, is he now? Just clips a ball in there. Left for Volks. Volks, nice turn. He's got Ward available. Boyd takes it. Ward going on the overlap. Boyd to try and cut inside his man. That's got away from him. Looks to release it towards the far post. Too much on it. And that's gone behind for a goal kick. Not quite happening for George Boyd no, here today. No, no, he switch wings, him and Scott Arfield, which they do. We yeah. see that quite a lot. I think that's so about Knockout, I think, Darren. I think you're right. I think it's about the energy of George Boyd to get back and help Stephen Warren. I think you've absolutely nailed that one. And indeed, George Boyd's going to come across now, I think, and just have a little chat with uh, the gaffer. In fact, it looks like we have a drinks break here almost. Yeah. yeah it's, it's nearly summer. Palm trees in Brighton, Phil. Yeah, I saw one, didn't I? Yeah, you were laughing at me. Just pointed out a palm, palm tree on the way down yesterday. Don't see him in Burnley normally. It's excited me. Uh, everybody's just coming across just to have a, a breather. There's a player down, it's Sam Baldock. They have got uh, Wilson on the bench, and Wilson on cue is warming up to our left hand side. Four minutes to half time. Strange half because it hasn't been great football, has it? But it's been a nervy, a place to be level. It's been a nervy one, really. And Brian have probably edged it, to be fair, but Burnley have probably had the better chances, I think, in terms of, you know, Sam Volks, that, he that header from the corner. Michael Keane from the corner, yeah, I'm thinking yeah. of straight away, yeah, Sam yeah. Vokes, chested one down and volleyed wide. You know, Tom Eaton's had that one to claw away, and he would say that David Stockdale's been largely untroubled in the first half, but it's been, it's been probably Brian have just edged it, but I don't think either side probably deserves to be no, ahead, let's put it no, that way. No, it, it's a 
promotion, six points, a classic almost, isn't it? Uh, I think there's a change here. I don't think Baldock can continue. They're going to have to get Sir Wilson on, I think. Chris Hewton's got the message. Uh, dealing with the paperwork, which always takes an age. Well, I think we're going to see Wilson, aren't we? Always surprised me. You Wilson. need to actually provide a slip of paper for a substitute. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, you uh, off, you why off. Doesn't the, how, how easy is that? Well, why doesn't the fourth official just make a note of it? Why do you have to hand yeah, in the piece of paper? Yeah, it always yeah, seems yeah. a bit officious to me. That. Yeah. And substitute didn't have his shirt on. Discuss. You'd want your subs to have a shirt on, wouldn't you? <laughs> Baldock uh, looks disgruntled. He's not playing any further part. He's been lively as well, so that's not yes, the... Yes, he has. Uh, yeah, he's a good not, player. Not the worst thing in the world for Burnley, that, I don't think. Was with uh, Matty Taylor at West Ham when they were promoted. So that's straightforward. Wilson for Baldock. Wilson, Manchester United, of course. Scored a great goal in a FA Youth Cup game at Turf Moor, I remember. Had to shake hands with Matty Taylor as we speak. They're having a little chat, the two of them. See, I told you. <laughs> That Almost was. on cue, wasn't it? <laughs> it's almost how I planned it. Arfield, touch back for Lowton. Lowton to clear it right footed. Looking towards Gray. Nice chest down. Finds Arfield. Right hand side, remember now. I remember Canadian international now. Played in that international at Mexico. Just picked up a back knock. Thankfully, OK. Preston 2 1 up. Blackburn Row was 1, Preston North End 2. Hugill. Hugill, yeah. Done well, Preston. Simon Grayson. They will still harbour so well. very faint hopes, yeah. I admit, but they will still harbour faint hopes in outside. the playoffs. Outside, I would suggest. You know, they would go to 56 today. They're only six outside the playoffs, Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're convincing me. You're convincing me. Approaching half time here. 90 seconds remain of the half. Andre Gray. I think that's with a, the a tough old game for Burnley at Preston. Lancashire Derby, Preston aside, who've assured the position, confident, you know, they'll relish that game. I think that's a really tough game for Burnley. I'll tell you who's playing well for Preston, Paul Gallagher. Mm. Well, I got? did my analysis, you know, nothing happening on the pitch, so don't worry about that at the minute, but I did my analysis, and uh, I still was going up as champions, but I was losing two games between now and the end of the season. Oh. I was losing this one from Preston. I don't want to alarm anybody. I had us... Uh, Unbeaten for the rest of the season. Jones and battling with Stevens. Comes away with it, Jones. Looks to Orkey Don. Gray's collected. Can he run through the middle here? Looking to tease Dunk. He's got support in Arfield. Arfield on for Volks. Volks looking to turn. Lost out though in the end. Kyle to clear it. Oh, and this is dangerous on the counter attack. Chance either end. And look at Wilson driving forward here. He's got support. Canock are in good space here. Looking to take on Ward. Teasing in one way, then the other. He's going to need a left footed in the end. Oh, he's beaten his man again. He's blocked it in. Kanokar with the goal. Was he deflected past Tom Heaton? I think he was. Right on half time. Anthony Kanokar's got it. Ryan Albion two. Burnley one. Oh, Burnley just couldn't stop him. Couldn't stop him. But it came from a Burnley attack, Phil. Yeah. You know, Sam lost the ball on the 18 yard line. And Burnley were retreating. It, they were right in on the Burnley back four. Straight away. You know, and, and Burnley just couldn't handle knockout. He's got a little bit of luck. Of course he has with the finish. But he's probably earned that by just tearing Stephen Ward inside out. It's a nice finish. Ah, uh, but it's a really poor one for Burnley to concede because they're the ones on the attack. Yeah, it's gone in off uh, Michael Keane, I think, hasn't it? Got a deflection off Michael Keane's trailing boot past Tom Heaton. Nothing the keeper could do about it. But you know, right at a crucial time, isn't it? Brighton a 2 1 up here. Boy, this will lift the crowd. Burnley. Got some work to do here. Can't bounce back inside three minutes here because we'll be going off for half time. Knockout, good change for Hewton. He didn't play at MK Dons, brought him back in. I've got to say, he's caused Stephen Ward some problems. There's Lowton to get it forward. Can Burnley respond immediately? Header away by Goldson. What they do tend to do is become defensive bright when they're up. Here's Ward. Looks for Jones, back for Ward. Uses Barton. Barton to try and get it in the mix here. Try and release his man as he found Arfield. Arfield collects it. Oh, and then slips. That was unfortunate. Got in a really good position, Scott Arfield. And just lost his balance. Blocked by Burnley. Flick on here from Boyd. It didn't work out. Burnley with two men on the ball. And a counter-attack here now. It's just got too open, I think, for Burnley's liking. Kai out. Just taking his time now, as I say that. Finds Rossini. Rossini bombing down that left. Looking to take on Lowton. Coming inside, 
to Tess Lodge and it's bouncing around in there. Burnley get it away from Keane. Dunk to win it. Dunk to get it wide here for Kanoko. It's been the man of the match for me. Into Van Ball. And he kicks the ball away. Now, now, now. The referee should have been looking at that. I've got to say, he's a fortunate man not to have been booked at some stage in the game. Burnley've got a free kick. Kick the ball away there, Darren. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that. Craig Borson's got to be stronger. Sean Dyche is pointing that out to him. Had a one at the back, is it by Dunk? Will clear it. Skybound. We're in time added on. Dunk will be much, much more. And that'll lift the crowd, you know, because they'll go in ahead at half time. Here's Wilson on loan from Manchester United. Turns away nicely. Burnley got a touch through our field. The crowd are lifted here. It's a test for the Clarets with Murphy. Murphy coming inside, don't want to concede again. Ball is dangerous towards the far post. And a one, but saved by Eaton. Might fall for Knockhart again. Burnley need half time here. Saved by Eaton once more. Should clear the lines. Referee's had a look at his watch. Burnley should clear the lines through Barn. Touched inside for Jones. Barn to counter attack now. Just have a look up. Try and find Gray. Gray can't win that. Dunk won it. Burnley think he went through the back of him. Not so sure on that occasion. Got to keep the calm here. We're playing on still at the end of the first half. That'll go all the way through to Tom Heaton. I think we've played three additional minutes. Another word from Sean Dyche. Dunk did seem to go through the back of Gray. Here's Keane. 2-1 Brighton here on the cusp of half-time. Barton touches on once more for Jones. There was that lengthy treatment for Baldock. Referee's had another look at his watch. Jones could perhaps get a ball in here and see what happens. And that's ball forward towards Boyd. Can he hook it back inside corner here? It's the time for the corner. Doesn't have to uh, necessarily allow the corner to be taken. Can Burnley deliver here? Whistles all round the Amex. Jones to deliver. Swing it right in, left footed, right into the mix. Burnley need to win the head here. Ben Mayhas, and that'll be half time. Burnley trailing 2 1 here. Right on half time, that second goal. Hello Clarets fans, Phil Bird here. Make sure you subscribe to Burnley's official YouTube channel and turn on notifications, otherwise you might miss moments like this. Oh, what a goal! <laughs> and Wood was there to finish it! You're just spitting Glenn Little, look at us. Enjoy the video and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Up the Clarets. Plenty of reasons for optimism for Burnley to get back into this. They haven't played ter terribly well, Burnley, and they've left Andre a little bit isolated for me in yeah. that first half. But you know, we've not we've seen this Burnley side come from behind so many times um, in the past and, and, and just shrug off disappointments. I don't think there'll be any too many concerns in there. Sean Dyche will just be laying down a few ground rules, I think, and asking for a little bit more from his players. Yeah, not dealt with Anthony Knockart too well, have we? No, they've, they've, they've been lively, Brighton, to be fair. They've been lively down this right-hand side all the game. Knockhart's done well. We switched George Boyd across, of course, but, you know, the, the ball out just took the midfielders out of play for the second goal. And you just look at the goals. The last three goals Burnley have conceded now have been so un-Burnley-like. Yeah, yeah. You know, the corner against Wolves, a free header. A corner yeah. today with a back-stick finish that's a decent little finish, but it's a sloppy one. And the third goal... Uh, the, the last one here today has just been one that Burnley don't often get caught out in that way and they have today and now they've got it all to do again because that top of that division as it stands is really tight yeah yeah you get a situation where Stephen Ward didn't want to dive in did he because he, he, he doesn't want to catch Knockhart and it's almost a game of cat and mouse and you're not doing anything about it in the end no you? that's right and he's so close to the goal he's eight nine yards out you, you can't dive in but equally you've got to be close enough to stop yeah. him whatever he does he, he feigns to shoot turns Stephen Moore back inside and, and the rest is history yep as things stand it will be Burnley 75 points Brighton 74 Middlesbrough 73 Middlesbrough with a game in hand 
Uh, I mean, Burnley have got two home games in the week, haven't they? Middlesbrough next three at home. Yeah, they're the ones really right. looking at now. I mean, it, anything today would be a good result because he keeps Brandon arm's length. And then you look to those two home games and say, those are the ones you've got to try and win, really. You've got to try and pick up the six points there. You get the six points yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Brighton um, go to Birmingham on Tuesday. Not an easy game. Not an easy game by any means. No, because Birmingham are still fancying themselves. Yeah, you know, they're yeah. on the periphery at the minute of the playoffs. And, you know, Sheffield Wednesday has caught slip up today. Then Birmingham will be looking to that. Yes, got a game in hand as well. Yeah, exactly. So that is a tough old game for Brighton on Tuesday at Birmingham. You know, that swing could come back again. So, But we're not out of the woods yet, Phil. We're not out of it here. You know, it's 2 1, it's half time. Burnley are in the game. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely in it. Yeah, uh, and Brighton at the weekend. Just seen what away at Nottingham doing. Forest they are Monday well done Monday so uh, Birmingham away Nottingham Forest away not easy are they not no, easy tough game the championship. No, neither are Cardiff and Leeds by the way um, but so you'd rather be home than away you would you would you would but plus, just, plus just, let's not forget Brighton's last two games are Derby and Middlesbrough yes they are that's, that's they two are. toughies as well so I, they, um, they will I think for that reason they will see this as a must win game today yeah I, I think on the last day you know Burnley could be two points behind Brighton and Middlesbrough oh, also and still go up and still go up when with a better goal difference yeah yeah yeah, yeah. true true but I mean, that, just, just explaining why the bookies have had Burnley so short in recent weeks that, that plays a part that plays a part but you wouldn't want both sides needing a draw on the last day no I'm not going there Phil I'm not even going there with you I'm not even joining you in this conversation yeah, because right. I was hoping to be up well before then it's but going to be there's a lot of twists and turns to come uh, a lot of twists today, and today's turns. a big one you know Middlesbrough Middlesbrough 6 out of 6 and then Burnley 1 out of 6 pulls everything tight in again doesn't it so yeah I, I've got a feeling the gaffer won't be happy at half-time. I don't think he will, but there's a, there's a huge 45 minutes to come now for Burnley. They've got to step it up a little bit, you know. He's got to get a bit more from his front men for me. Got to get a little bit more from his front men because they've been a little bit off the pace, I think. But it's a huge 45 minutes, Phil, because, it, you know, it won't determine yeah. the season. But I, I, I was going to say is, wide men. I actually thought he, he, he perhaps want more from his wide men. Not been a great think, deal I, happening I, wide. I just think everybody, Phil, it's just, it's been a little flat. You know, for a huge game, it's been a little flat. Um, yeah, we, we, we saw out the first half hour. I mean, if you, you had a wish list, it beats out the first half hour, yeah, wouldn't but, it? Yeah, but, but, but equally, we've been a little bit standoffish, I think. You, know, you want to be snapping into tackles. Joey's done it a couple of times, but you want to be right yeah. in on them, I think, and they haven't necessarily been that Burnley. So how do you deal with Knockhart second half? What, what, what's, the, what, what's the change in plan? I don't, I don't suppose plan? there really is a change in plan. you just got to trust your man out there. and He's, you know, he's pulled um, George Boyd across to help Stephen Ward. There's not a lot more you can do, but accord pointing out the equation there because of the, the speed like, of it. Because of the speed of the break. Yeah, yeah. We, we'd seen that, hadn't we? You know, the counter attack. We, we knew what the counter attack would be because the keeper gets rid of it so quick that they play a slow, 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 quick game, don't yeah, they? Yeah. And the keeper gets rid of it smart. Absolutely. And, it, and it's it's something that's served them well, and they're not going to change in the second half. Burnley know what's in front of them. But how 17 attempts, Brighton, in that first half. 17. Argument. Yeah, that caught me by surprise a little bit. Yeah, because I think Tom's made two saves. I think a few of them ended up in the stand, I think, haven't they? But yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You're just you know, a bit surprised by that. that. That's not Burnley way, is it? To allow a side to have 17 attempts on goal. No, perhaps. as I said, I think it's just been a little bit standoffish. Um, but it, listen, we can't criticise this Burnley side too much because no. they're unbeaten in three months. Yeah, yeah, haven't lost since Boxing Day away, of course. I mean, the opening goal, corner from this right-hand side. I, I think Burnley didn't deal with the first corner particularly well. There's a flick on. It's Lowton, actually. Just seeing on the replay, it's Matt Lowton with the flick on. And just at the far post, Stevens gets a touch. Just gets a touch. Beats the defender to it. It's Lowton with the flick on, just right, right at full stretch. He beats David Jones to it, Stevens. Not the most convincing of touches, but it ends up in the back of the net. That was on 30 minutes. But what a cracking response it was initially to, to come bouncing back inside three minutes. Absolutely, Phil, absolutely. And they need that again now, Berlin. Obviously, didn't have a chance in that first half with the time running out, but they, they, he'll want more. We've, we've said it a couple of times now. He'll want more, I think. It's a huge yes. old game, and you want to be stamping your authority on it and Burnley haven't quite done that in that first half oh, changes can be made of course you know you've got yeah. the, you've got the change on the bench that can change it in attacking sense not only Ashley Barnes of course on there but you've got uh, Matthew Taylor Michael Kiley and Dean Morney of course who isn't 
um, averse to snapping into a few tattles. He, yeah. he might help a little bit. So there are plenty of options on to Sean Dyche. <clears throat> but it'd be interesting what the team conversation's been at half time. Yeah, interesting goal, isn't it? Because um, Keane wins the first header. Stephen Wood almost traps it. Yeah. Puts the ball in, in the six yard box. <laughs> he's, he's stationary when Andre Gray smashes it home. This is the first real view we've had of the replay. And it, it's a strange old goal. But that's Stephen Wood in front of the keeper again, working hard to distract the keeper, get hold of anything that falls to him inside the six yard and box. And there's the break. We're seeing it now, you know, four on three. In Burnley's favour, admittedly, four on three. But. But Burnley were always backtracking, they never quite had control of the men. You know, and you're yeah. trying to get your numbers back in there. Eventually, they got the numbers back in there to protect the goal. And it's just a really fortunate. It's not a great shot, I don't think. Uh, and, and it goes in off the heel of uh, Michael Keane. Knockout just nearly slips Stephen Ward, just beats him one way, then the other, and comes inside onto his right foot, hits it not particularly well. And I think Tom Heaton possibly had it covered. And in the end, it's just ballooned up off the heel of Michael Keane so it's a tad unfortunate doesn't it it just gets yeah, away from yeah. Tommy that's a nightmare for a keeper because he thinks he's got that covered at his near post and it just balloons up off his own man and in the end there's not a great deal not a great deal he can do Tom Heaton to stop it now then now then uh, seven left after today it's a game Burnley really can't afford to lose Darren isn't it I don't know about it can't afford to lose, Phil, because they're top of the league. They can't afford to lose it. They've got that little cushion. The cushion would, would just be a very thin one. Um, but with two home games to come, we'd have seven to play, four of them at home. You know, let's not yeah, forget that. Right. All yeah. against a yeah. position that we, we, we could. I do like the last two, Darren. Queen's Park Rangers at home. I mentioned that to you last night. And uh, Charlton, Charlton away. away. Interestingly, Clark Hall, Alan Turf Moore thinks Charlton away might be a toughie because they'll be probably out the equation by then they'll put a few kids in they'll be playing for next season playing with the freedom he thinks that might help Charlton um, but they have been I mean the winning well, boys in many well, ways Charlton with Bolton haven't they this season I'm not one to disagree with Clark uh, normally but they've had some foreign players in haven't they almost nomads on short contracts I've got to say, I, I don't think that they'll, they'll have a great deal of interest in the last day. There'll be a lot of a lot of protests in the stands. Yeah, well, I'd be surprised if the game started late. That's oh, that's a good one. That's you know, good I, one. I, I, I think it'll help Burnley. Ten I, I think it'll Burnley. I love the last two fixtures. <laughs> well, we've got to get to that stage, Phil. But, you know, there's a, there's a lot of work to do to get Burnley into a position where they can look at them next two fixtures positively. You know, today will be a setback, no doubt about it. It'll be a setback. Will it be? A, is it a must-not-lose game? No, I don't think it is a must-not-lose game because, as I said, the cushion's still there. But, but a point today, you go home thinking, well, wow. I'm OK with that, I'm happy with that, because yeah. it keeps Brighton four points behind you. With the goal difference Burnley have as well, that make, that effectively is two victories. You know, because Brighton's goal difference is so inferior to Burnley's, four points means a draw and a win doesn't yeah. do it. They yeah. need two wins better than Burnley. You want to keep that goal difference better than those two sides, don't you? Well, Middlesbrough are, are on the cusp, and Hull, of course, who are on the periphery of this, are, are, still, are, are on the cusp. Burnley 29, Middlesbrough 26, Hull 27. That's the yeah. goal difference. Brighton's is only 18. A Burnley defeat today brings Hull back into it. <clears throat> uh, yes, I suppose it does. If Hull win, they will go back to 69 if they won today. Burnley be on 75. Hull would have a game in hand, so yeah, it, it, it probably would. Um, but Phil, I'm not even going through these, through these doomsday scenarios anymore. <laughs> so much, we're talking about so many ifs and buts and yes. equations here. We've got yeah. to just let that game pan out, I think. And it's about this second half, isn't it? Here? Uh, yeah, but focus on what's in front of you and, and a better second half than Burnley needed, no doubt about it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and does Ashley Barnes play a part here? Is it... Is it uh, left towards the end, or is he, is he going to be coming on on the hour mark? Well, I, I think it depends on the game, really, Phil, but if Burnley are still chasing a goal, if, it stay, if they get an equaliser at 2-2 two -two and they're seeing the game down, I don't think we'll see Ashley Barnes, but if the score stays the same, you'd expect to see Ashley probably sooner rather than later, even if it means going three up front, because, as I say, with Brighton's goal from so poor, you might as well have a crack at them in the second half and go three up front mm. to get something from this game, because with games running out, every point's a prisoner. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're a strange little side, aren't they? I, I, I mean, early on, very early on, we talked about what they try and do on the counter-attack. They're not a big side, so you can trouble them at corners. You know, but, but they'll get it to Knockhart, they'll get it to Murphy on the other side. I thought those two were excellent in that first half. Yeah. You know, Bruno will go on the outside of Knockhart, and uh, Rossini will go on the outside of, of Murphy, so they'll attack down the wings. And that's tested Burnley. Yeah, oh, it has. It's this stretch Burnley, there's no doubt about that. But they're not... I, I haven't seen anything out there to worry Burnley. 
that's one thing I would say. And that's the disappointing thing because the goals have been poor by Burnley standards. Yes. And, and, and Brian haven't had a lot to do to earn those goals. Do you know what I mean? They, yeah. they, they've, they've almost been the corners flicked off a Burnley head, which is unfortunate. Guy at the back sticks some mark, knocks it in. Second one, you know, lightning break, but four on three in Burnley's favour. The back, the back line is backtracking quite nicely. They're keeping it nice and tight. But as soon as the ball goes wide to Knockhart, you know, yeah, it, it stretches Burnley. It and then makes it different when he gets in the box, yeah. doesn't he? Because you can't touch him, can you, then? But the Burnley lads have been sent out early. We're out before Brighton, so they're on the pitch now. So they've been given a flea in the rear by the gaffer, no doubt. And we really need a big 45 minutes from Burnley now. We really need a big 45 minutes. Uh, we do need a big half, yes. A big half. Reuven Hennings is here today, by the way. I've just seen Oh, yeah, I've seen Reuven. Yeah, I've yeah. seen Reuven. Um, how, how bad's that injury, Darren? Do we, do we know? No, I don't. It's just an Achilles injury is all we know, really. Um, picked up a knock to the Achilles in the week. But the timing of it couldn't be better in Ashley Barnes' sense because he stepped straight back into the side. Yes. Burnley out there early. I don't think Sean Dyche will be happy. It'll be the defending. They'll be defending well, over the yeah, last well, he, definitely, of games. he definitely won't be happy with it. I think that's said, the last three goals we've conceded now have all been yeah. very un like yeah. goals. The first here, the first here, the concern will be Bruno getting away for the first corner. And it was a good block, but it won the second corner. I'm not too sure the defending is too bad at the second corner. Lawton's just trying to get a touch on it and flicks it on. Here come Brighton now. No changes for Burnley, so it's Eaton in goal. Lawton, Keane, me, Ward at the back. Boyd, Barton, Jones, Arfield in midfield. Folks and Gray up front. Gray got that equaliser. It's 2-1 now to Brighton. Gray 23 for the season. Brighton had made one change just before the second goal. It was Baldock off and Wilson on. Let's not forget, Barnsley could come on as well. You leave the front two on and you, you'd play you wide. take someone like George Boyd out. Yeah. Where he, and he played wide in the Premier League. Here and in that Premier League season, didn't he? So yeah, yeah, yeah. He can he's, do that. He's a he versatile that player. Run. Yeah, he's a versatile player. For Brighton, it's Stockdale in goal. Bruno, Goldson, Dunk, Rossini at the back. Canockhart, Stevens, Kyle Murphy in midfield. Up front now, Hamed alongside Wilson. The referee will get us underway this second half. The music needs to come off the PA. Ball forward, dealt with by Lowton. He'll just take the throw. Needs to start the half well, Burnley, just to get back into the groove. It's going to be Lowton to take the throw. Throwing down the line, looking towards Folks, trying to flick it on. Jones with a touch forward, looking for Gray. Dunk wins the header. Calm enough. Rossini to help on. Finds Hamed. Ball four from Kyle, well read by Michael Keane. Keane, oh, poor ball, he's given it to Knockhart. Ward to battle with him, win the challenge. Did well there, Ward, it's a Burnley throw. Uh, just an indication there that maybe the instructions for Ward is to get in on Knockhart when he can, win the challenge well. Well, he certainly had a challenge this afternoon with Knockhart out there, there's no doubt about that. Near the halfway line with Stephen Ward. Played in the first Republic of Ireland international in the break, but not the second. He's gone into the opposing half with the throw, so he's gained a few yards. Touches this back to Ben Mee, squares it for Michael Keane. Michael Keane to square it once more for Ben Mee. A minute inside this second half. Burnley trailing here by two goals to one. Stevens and Canockart. For the home side, Gray with his 23rd of the campaign. Barton looking early, it's too near the keeper. Easy one for Stockdale. Crowd just getting on his back a little. Stockdale to kick this out of his hands. Big boot forward. And but they go to Birmingham and Forest in the week. So two tough away games there. Lawton needs to get this, gets it back to Heaton. Heaton will have a touch, clear it right footed towards the halfway line, easy header though for Kyle Hamed Israeli to Israeli, Kyle wide here for touch on from Murphy nice ball inside for Jones, interesting if there is a no vote in the Euro uh, referendum, the likes of Kyle Hamed won't be able to play here long term won't get the work permits, Stockdale with the clearance big boot forward into the Burnley half, had a one by Ward, but only finds Kyle. Under pressure all the time, Ward. Every time he gets the ball, he's under pressure. Ball's going to come in from this right-hand side again. 
Here's Stevens, tidy player, just helps it on for Rossinia. Rossinia on in turn for Murphy. Ball back for Murphy in space, just got away from Lowton. Looks to have a shot, wide of the target. It was moving, but always wide of the target. Got away from Lowton. Again, the wide men causing Burnley problems. Yeah, this is a story of the first half, that isn't it? Tamely wide in the end, it was a good hit, but it was always wide, and Tom Eaton happy to let it go there. Yeah, he's kicked that out, looking for Lowton. Lowton on the volley and hook, Gray's offside here. The flag's gone up. Dunk caught him anyway, uh, but the flag had already gone up. Um, Sean Dyche is having a word with Ian Warren and Tony Lockery. You don't think a change at this stage? Not at this stage, I don't think. I think he'll give it ten minutes and get towards the hour mark, and then we'll see where we're up to. He'd he, he want a reaction, I would imagine. That's the first thing. You've, you've given your players your instructions. Yeah. You want a reaction, and you want to see if that's had its effect before you do anything. You go past the hour mark, don't you? I, I would, would imagine, so. at the I very least. So. The very least. That's the way. And, it's and, you've trust, so well. and you've got to trust your players, and I'm sure he does trust his yeah. players. Only ten defeats, remember, in 87 games at this level. Season best crowd, 29,683. 1,633 from Lancashire. They'll be a little bit quiet at the minute, a bit anxious. Gone back to Stockdale. I think there's more goals in this game. Oh, I agree with that. I agree with that. Brighton have tended to go a little negative in second half. Flick on here. Ben Mee to win it, though. Gets it towards the halfway line. Winning the balls, though, aren't they? That, that'll be the worry, I think. We're a little bit standoffish yeah. for me. Yeah. Just need to get a little, see if they've done it again. Just find a little ball in between the middle. For Hamed. Hamed coming away from the front line and doing that well. Here's Arfield. Thought about going back to his keeper. Brings it down this right-hand side. Looking to take on his man here, Rossinia. I thought he won the throw there. It's gone the way of Burnley. It's not Rossinia, beg your pardon. It's Kyle. Kyle furious, furious with the referee. Oh, it was their ball. I, I thought he, it was their ball. He knocked it off for yeah, Scott Arfield. It was their ball, definitely. Um, maybe it's not an easy position for the linesman to see. And maybe Sean Dyche and Chris Uton were in his way, you know. Lowton with the throw. Looking for Volks. Trying to take it down. Oh, Tom, Grace offside. Ooh, he's getting away from Dunk. Just offside, I think. Five minutes gone in the second half. Brighton remain 2-1 up here. Stockdale out of his area to take the free kick. Not that same urgency from the home side now. They'll fancy holding on to the margin. It's what they've tended to do at home. Beat Reading here 1-0. Leeds United here 4-0 on TV. 3-2 against Bolton, struggled against Bolton. Good skill from Hamed, he's a good player. Getting down that left-hand side, he's overrun it. That'll be a Burnley throw. It's going to be with Matt Lowton. You to see what changes the gaffer thinks of. He's Barnes, his go-to here, first go-to. Jones to hook that forward, looking for Gray. Oh, he's got away from Dunk. Cross comes Galton to try and deal with it. Two on him here. Can he find a ball inside? Oh, it just bounced awkwardly for him. Arfield to collect the next ball. Arfield driving forward as he helps it onto Volks. Back for Barn. Wide referee almost in the way. Finds Ward. Ward inside here for Jones. Gone again, Ward. Needs to get the right cross in here. Plenty in the mix. It's too deep though, I think. Dunk half away. Arfield to touch inside. Away by the defence. Kyle. Seemed a little nervy there, Brighton. Burnley just didn't quite find the right ball. It's back with Lowton from the throw. Lowton inside nicely for Arfield. For Barton. Barton scoops that forward. Too much on it. Lowton on the chase, though. Or oh, is he kept it in play? Not quite. Ooh, he was racing towards goal. Um, we'd want to see a replay of that. It must so, have been close. Doesn't seem to be arguing, Matt. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. We saw an incident, a similar incident. Hasn't got out. Didn't go out. But all of the ball didn't go out, Darren. I mean, you know, we saw that last night with the QPR game. Lone was through on goal there. I mean, why is the linesman given that? The whole of the ball did not go out there. We saw it last night, we've seen it here today. It's back with Rossinia. Rossinia to touch it inside. Will break for Kyle. He's on a super game, looking to spread it for Knockout. Ward struggling against him. Knockout's kept it in play. They're pumping the diagonal ball forward for Knockout. He'll get a ball in here. It's cleared by Ben Mee. He's skied it a touch. Ward needs to try and win the next header. Not got it away properly. Stevens to get a touch here for Knockhart again. He's been the, the game's best player. Touched inside once more for Stevens. Touch on, but Ben Mee's read that. Ben Mee's been fouled here. That'll be a free kick, surely. Referee's allowed play to go on here. Ball in towards the box. It'll be a corner. Surely Ben Mee was fouled there. 
certainly some eyes across to the referee. But at the other end of the pitch, Darren, how has the linesman flagged for that ball Two to go out? really, and the, but the, everything seems to be going Brighton's way at the minute. The 50-50s, the free kicks, you know, the decision with the ball over the line there. Matt Loughton's clear on goal if he allows that ball to carry on, but they have got to ride all that. They've got to forget yeah. all that and ride it. Ball in there. Burnley have got to touch on it. Should get it away here. Jones half away. Need to win the next header. Ben Mead to jump and get there. Player on the deck. Crowd won a penalty. Just dunk on the floor. Jump to the ball. Better did Ben Mead there. Hooked in by Bruno. Burnley to clear the lines here. Good clearance from Lowton. Looking for Gray. Three on him. He's a lot to do there, Gray, if he's going to make anything of that. Jones to head on looking for Boyd. Dunk to win the next header. Arfield might be happy with the throw here. Down this right-hand side. Takes it quickly. Finds Joey Barton. Burnley desperate to get back in it. Boost for Joey Barton. Here's Jones. On for Barton once more. Ball forward for Arfield. Nice touch. He expected Gray to continue his run. It was nice. In the end, it's uh, Stockdale that collects. Nice little touch from Arfield, wasn't it? Gray could have got behind the defence there. Yeah. I think the gaffer is saying to Andre Gray, you've got to be alive to those opportunities, son. But Andre... Started the run, hadn't he? He'd started the run. Sean Dyche not happy. Right behind him. Burnley's lead will be cut to a point if things stay as they are. Middlesbrough, two points behind with a game in hand. The thing's starting to go right for Karanka and his men. Here's Rossinia. Back for Dunk. Just to get it forward, looking over the top for Hammond, who's collected his offside. Flag went up when he touched it. Ah, the crowd were getting excited. A just straight offside. Burnley free kick. On the bench for the Clarets, Paul Robinson, Dean Marnie, Michael Kitely, Matty Taylor. Eaton's taking the kick, I'm not sure it's from the right spot. Flick on his from Volks, Arfield can't reach it, with Senior to stab away. Keen to battle here with Wilson. Next ball, we'll play together, Keen and Wilson. Of course, at Manchester United. Here's Lowton. Helps it on for Barton down this right hand side. He's going to try and whip a ball in here. Cross comes Kyle. Wins the challenge. Looks a good player, doesn't he? Kyle. He does. He does. But it's a little bit more better from better from Burnley. Burnley a little bit more in, in possession of the ball this half, you'd have to say. Ten minutes gone in the second half, and Burnley doing a little bit more of the probing now. Does remind me of the game in our promotion season when Leicester came to. Uh, yeah, I mean, you'd certainly say more. Brighton in a minute. Brighton, Brighton seemed to be, as you said, Phil, they've got the lead. It's calmed them down a little bit in terms of searching for. Arfield with the ball in. Sorry, Darren, it's headed away comfortably by Dunk. It wasn't the best of crosses. Oh, Hamid with good skill got the better of his man. Now then, there's a break here. And look at the pace of Murphy to get away from Lowton. Chance here. Hooks it back inside. Burnley got numbers back. There's a foul in there, surely. Burnley will clear the lines got there, Ward got there to clear it Gray chasing this it's Bruno to drive forward, crowd getting excited, Bruno in a good position clips it wide, right hand side can knock out to tease Ward once more ball in there, he's dangerous, flicked on inadvertently by Burnley, Arfield to get it away, Bruno to try and win the next ball, it's gone wide for Knockart again, it's just relentless they know where to go here with Kanoka on for Bruno. He'll get a cross in here, deep towards the back post. And it's beyond everybody in the end. And Burnley will clear the lines. Arfield looking early. A great gun offside he has. Chest down looking for Volks. He's offside anyway. I mean, Burnley's got to get that right. We can't have a man, you know, with a 50-yard pass offside. No, absolutely not. I mean, Andre plays that rolls mm. on the shoulder so much that he's going to get caught offside. But he's just got to be a little bit smarter. He's got to be a little bit smarter because he's the out ball. If he gets caught offside, guess what? Back it comes again, and here it comes. Stockdale, yeah, he's got a boot on him. He's looking towards Murphy. Murphy does win that header. Wilson to the next ball. Touched on for Murphy. Murphy to tease Lowton. Back inside here for Rossini. Rossini on in turn for Kyle. Kyle again, he's just going to look for Knockhart all the time. Burnley need to get support for Stephen Ward against the tricky Frenchman. Crossing is dangerous towards the far post. Beyond everybody. Chris Hutton not happy. He thinks somebody got on the end of that. But Knockhart at the minute is he's, he's running the show. Well, Brighton are just... When they get the ball, Brighton... I mean, Burnley have been OK in this second half, I think. They've, they've had plenty of the ball. They've looked to pro. But when Brighton get the ball, Burnley aren't snapping into them no. with that usual tenacity no. and, and, and pressing game that we have. And it just gives Brighton... A, you can't give a side of this quality too much time on the ball. I do feel Burnley are doing that a little bit. Ball forward, looking for Gray. Cut out well by Rossini. For Murphy, been impressed with him today. Ball forward for Wilson. 
Wilson coming back from the centre back, uh, centre forward role. We don't normally let Kyle. teams play, and we're letting Brighton play for me. Yeah, Barton getting close. Oh, Kyle's gone down in a heap. I don't think Barton caught in there. Sean Dyche is furious. The referee should see this as play acting. It was a foul, no more than that. And Kyle needs to get up. He needs to get up and get on with the game. I just... Is that where, you know, the, these foreign imports have spoilt the, the British game a little bit, Darren? There was no contact well, he won the, For a start, he won the ball. For a start, it wasn't a free kick. Did, oh, did you not think so? No, no, it's definitely not a free kick. And then he's trying, to, he's trying to hurdle Kyle, and Kyle's foot follows his path, and he lands on his foot. You can't have it both ways, the lad. No, no. No, I think the referee, to be fair, well, he gave the free kick, didn't it? Um, he, he wasn't bought, I didn't think, by the play acting, to be honest. Uh, and there should be, if he's in that much agony, Darren, they should be carrying him off. Should be carrying him off. The physio spending some time with him. He is well, starting to stop the clock, up. so we're not losing any times. That's the one good thing here. But he just breaks the play up again a little bit, and it gives Sean Dyche, who is with his team here on, on the in the in the six in, in the technical area, discussing what they can do. I'm sure they're discussing substitutions. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Yeah, he, I, I, I guess Barnes Barnes comes into the thoughts here. Now, oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. And I'd imagine I'd imagine maybe Dean Morney as well, because it needs somebody out yeah. to start getting into Brighton a little bit. Well, on the evidence of that, Kyle's not going to be able to play for some time. Never mind today, <laughs> if he's hobbling off in that manner. I assume he's going to just put the shin pad back on and get back out there. Well, if it was a foul, it was a foul. I'm not sure it was. Ball forward's going to run out of play, and that'd be a Burnley goal kick. But, of course, every time Joey Barton gets on. near the ball now... I'm not sure he was allowed back on there by the referee, you know? I didn't see the referee wave him on. He just came back on. Ball's dead, I suppose. I don't think you can do that. Barton to get it forward. Got deflected on. Bruno to collect it. The crowd is getting on Barton's back here. It'll need to be calm. Bruno to get it forward. Again. Brighton have been the better side and picking the ball up in the middle of the park too easily. Murphy's running to his own man. Tackled by Wilson, in effect. But Burnley have got to show some quality here. They haven't really today. Arfield inside for Jones. Gets it back, Arfield. That's nice. Arfield wide here. Stephen Ward to collect. You've got Volks in the middle. Looking for Gray. Gray looking to hold it. Turn. Face play. Oh, ball inside for Barton. Couldn't find him and he slipped. And the crowd get excited. And away comes Murphy. Murphy to drive forward. He looks dangerous all the time. Gets it wide here for his senior. The senior tucks it back inside for Murphy. Chance here for Brighton. Murphy back for his senior on his right foot this time. Balling towards the back post. Looking for Hamad. It's come off Hamad. That's it. And that will be taken anyway by Tom Heaton. Urgencies from Burnley all of a sudden now. They trail here by two goals to one. Stevens can knock out for Albion. Gray with his 23rd of the season for Burnley. Here's Boyd, ball inside for Arfield. Burnley do look narrow to me. You have a situation with there, they had Jones, Barton, Arfield and Boyd all inside the centre circle. Maybe Burnley need a little bit of width themselves here. Barton to touch it on for Boyd. Boyd might have to go back here with the support of his central defenders. Uses Michael Keane, past the hour mark here. In this promotion, six-pointer. Michael King get it back off Barton. You'll know at home when Barton's got the ball because there's booze around the Amex. On cue, Barton to receive, finds Boyd, back for Barton. Barton to get it down the line for Lowton. Gone again, finds it again once more, looking for Gray. Got support here, Barton's gone down the right-hand side, can he whip in the cross, he can towards the back post. Arfield win it, didn't get a clean header on it. Bruno knew what he was doing, just got in the way. Canocott just helping out the defence here, hits it against Ward. It's going right for the Frenchman. Wins himself a goal kick. It's a great, a great team change from Chris Uton to bring Canockart in. Didn't play at MK Dons. He's made a big difference today. The gap would be a point if Brighton. There's going to be a change here, Darren. Who's signalled here? We're going to see Matty Taylor, I think. Three of his four goals this season have come off the bench. It was in the West Ham side that beat Brighton 6-0 in West Ham's promotion season. Great to chase this. Keeper will get them. No, he won't. Dunk got there ahead of him. Hooked it wide. Very nearly the perfect ball. Matty Taylor to slip a shirt on. 
Instructions from Ian Warne. He's been waiting for this opportunity, hasn't he? Yeah, he's waited a little while, as Matty. He's a bit of a grizzly bear, isn't he, when he's not And it's all side. about quality in the box from Matty Taylor, isn't it? Yeah, set pieces. That wand of a left foot. It's no secret he's been a bit of a grizzly bear in recent weeks. Just grabbing a quick drink. I think that'll be for George Boyd, will it, Darren? I would have thought so, yeah, I would have thought so. Or Scott Arfield might be an option. Let's see Michael Keane in possession now. Burnley looking to drive forward. Keane to try and clip a ball, and it's got blocked by the defender. Murphy under pressure, ball inside for Stevens. Do like him. Spent his career in the lower leagues. Stephen Ward under pressure this time from Wilson. Clears his line, it's a big boot forward. Arfield will do well to get something on this. Headed it out of play, it'll be a Brighton throw. Is this the opportunity for Burnley to make their change? On 64 minutes, Matty Taylor. Just to just that black armband. Remember Burnley wearing that for the sad death this week of Ian Britton. Ball forward here from Goldson. Had a one by Lowton. Next one, Barton. There's a real battle in the middle of the park. Players go down after a clash. Needs to stop it, the referee. Clash of heads. Kyle and Barton. Nothing in that, Darren, was there? Yeah. Two players jumping for the ball. Two players going in for the ball. What are Brighton doing here, Get surrounding away. the referee? Get away. Two players contesting the ball. I mean, what are Brighton doing surrounding the referee now? What a lot of nonsense here. Two players who've gone up for the ball. It's a, it's a collision. There's definitely no incident But it's not there. helping Burnley because it's making it stop start. Yeah, absolutely. Going to see it again. I mean, it's not easy just to... Nah. Mm, if anything, the Israelis left with his arm. The crowd are shouting off, they haven't seen the incident properly. It's two players jumping for the ball, it's nothing. It's nothing, absolutely nothing. You know, this is the British game should be about contesting balls like that. It's a contact sport, Phil. You, yeah. you, you've got two players genuinely going up for the ball to win a header. Are, are you going to lead with your arms because you've got to get that leverage? And to but be fair to the referee, that's how he's seen Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Cre credit Craig Pawson there. He's happy for players to be jumping for the ball properly. The booze around the Amex, uh, you know, they've not seen the incident properly, I don't think. Do, do, do you think about bringing Barton off here? No. The crowd it, going on his He back. hasn't been booked yet. No, he hasn't. So, uh, no, I mean, that's exactly what Burnley I'm need. I'm not saying I agree with that. Burnley need Joey Boyne out there now because he's the one question. who's trying to drive the lads and get into these sort of niggly tackles that Burnley need to win. Scott Arfield Scott coming Arfield, off. yeah. Yeah. Had that long trip. Replaced here by Matty Taylor. I mean, there'll be some considerable time to add on here. Already Kyle's had two, two lots of treatment. Uh, we've played 20 minutes of the second half, so Matty Taylor left-hand side. M Sorry, right-hand side, I do beg your pardon. Right-hand side, Matty Taylor, Boyd left-hand side. What is quality? Ball kick back to Stockdale. To be fair to the referee, I thought he handled that very well. Stockdale to boot this forward. Next goal in this game, absolutely crucial. Not only for today, but for the championship season. Ward to win the header. Barton to clear left-footed, big boot forward. Gray to try and win it against Dunk. Dunk uh, does well. Bruno hits it against Boyd. A little bit surprised Arfield made way, Darren. I think he could have chosen either of the wide men, to be fair, Phil, and... He's probably thinking Scott is not quite on his game. Maybe the long trip to Canada and back. Obviously, the back injury he's sustained out there. There may well be a little bit of a niggle there. Or a, 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 he's not 100% because of that. No more reactions, really. But I think a change had to be made. And you would, as the game goes on now until last 20, you'd think Ashley Barnes comes more and more into the thinking. thinking yeah, for yeah. the other winger. Burnley have got form. Burnley have got form at coming back in games. Cardiff, Forest, Leeds, all away from home. Needed again today. Here's Kyle trying to slip a ball in there. It's hit David Jones. Had a one by Barton. A slip from Kyle. Here's Matty Taylor, right hand side. Just transfers onto his left peg. He's looking for support. Helps it down the line for Boyd. Both of them wide on this right hand side. Come off Kyle. He's been fantastic. Does look a good player. I mean, forget the play acting. He's still a cracking player. Here's Lowton. Lowton back for Keane. Keane to square it for Ben Mee. Here's Keane once more. 
Burnley just waiting for their opportunity here, looking for Sam Vox, trying to get him in the game a little bit more. Flick on is looking for Gray. Vox will win it again now. Edge of the box for Sam Vox, touches it wide for Taylor. It's it well. Burnley think the man have been hand involved there with Lewis Dunk. I think it was a good block from the defender, to be fair. Chase here, and Ben Mee's got to deal with this and get it back to his keeper. Does win the head, just gets a touch on it as it's running back towards Tommy and allows him to pick it up. Here's Michael King. I think Brighton will go in their shell a little in this game. That's what they've tended to do this season. Good cut out from Murphy. I don't think Knockhart will necessarily play 90 minutes. He's gone back to Heaton. 67 minutes on the watch. Final quarter of the game. Championship six-pointer by the seaside. And the Brighton crowd just trying to get behind their team. Remember, 47 points only last season in 20th spot. Gives you an indication of what a good job Chris Hewton has done. Helps on for Keane. Keane to go long here, looking for Volks. Volks to try and win the header. Has he found Boyd? Boyd up against Bruno. Spaniard gets it away. It's just not been George Boyd's day. It really hasn't. Here's Murphy to try and get away from Matty Taylor. Murphy's got a bit of pace, up on and wide here, bit of space. Wilson entering the box now, gets a cross in there, shot saved by Eden. Good save, keeps burning the game. Can knock out with the effort. Good save from Tommy. And didn't parry it, which was the key moment. Stephen Ward, Burnley just look a little leggy to me. Stephen Ward to get forward here. Plenty in the middle if he can get the right cross. He's looking for Sam Volks in there. Oh, he's just beyond Sam Volks. Matty Taylor will keep it in play. Looking to tease Rossinia. Just uses Lowton. Looking for the early cross here, Lowton. It's a good ball in this start. Headed away. And they'll clear the lines here, but only as far as David Jones. Good pressure from Burnley. Burnley have got to keep pushing forward here. And have a go at Brighton. Jones wide on that left-hand side for Ward. Jones again here. Ball inside for Bart. Back for Jones. On in turn here for Keane. Do you see Marnie playing a part possibly here? Here's Keane for Taylor. Taylor under pressure from Kyle. Uses Ben Mee. Sitting back, Brighton. Happy with things as they stand. Jones to clip it forward, to find Volks. Touch on for Gray. Back again looking for Volks. Cleared comfortably by Rossinia. Barnes to battle away here. Get the better of Wilson. Crowd not happy with Wilson. Didn't get involved enough, according to them. Ball in his deep towards the back post. Half header away. Bruno should complete the clearance here. Took it down the line for Knockhart. Ward out of position. Knockhart now can run at David Jones. This is how the game opens up now. Boyd to get back. Pass one. Knockhart driving through the middle now. Oh, he's touched it wide. Chance here for Murphy. Enters the box now. Teasing Lowton. Can he get a ball in? It's into the arms of Tom Eaton. Eaton rolls it out. The game has opened up. And it is Elta Skelter now. Here's Jones. Will reach this just. Try to stab it on. It will be won by Taylor though. Wide for Ward. It's a real test now in the final 20 minutes. Sean Dyche just encouraging his team to get forward. It's with Boyd. On for Ward. Ward inside, looking for Gray. Defender got the better of him. Gray judged to have fouled him. Free kick just outside the Brighton box. Further changes here, I think, Darren. Yeah, I'd imagine so, Phil. Further changes. Just speaking with Darren Devman, the fourth official. Who's uh, about to come on here? Kitely, we think. Michael Kitely. Not emerged from the bench yet. You think that'll be for George Boyd, one would imagine. The ball's gone all the way through to... Dean Marnie. Dean Marnie. Dean Marnie. Dean Marnie. Back to his feet. Got his shirt on. That's what I like to see. Ready for action. Player's gone down here. I think there'll be a good five minutes here, Darren, at the end of the 90. Oh, yeah, they? yeah. Could Darren. play a part, couldn't it? Another Dean Brian Marnie player down there. here. Is it the uh, central defender? No, it's Rossini. Gets to his feet, taking the bang. The ball's with Stockdale. I, I think we're on five minutes now at a time. It's David Jones to make way. David Jones, 18 minutes remain. Dean Marnie. Big player, big player in Burnley's promotion season. He's on alongside Joey Barton. Stockdale with the kick. He's in front of the Burnley fans on that right-hand side. Ward to win the header. 
Next header's Marne, his first touch since he came on. Here's Keane, had to get there, won the header. Touch back here now to Lowton, back inside for Keane. No real margin of error there. On in turn for me, looking for Lowton. Lowton to take it on, past Murphy, got a bit fortunate but did well with it. Here's Gray, Taylor's ahead of him. Gray going well here, looking for Volks in the middle. Bruno just got tight to him, didn't allow him to win the header. And Bruno just tidying up, touch back for Goldson. Goldson with the clearance, Burnley should win it through Marnie, but Marnie's knocked it out of play, and that'll be a Brighton throw. They'll cheer every throw in from here, won't they, the home crowd? Oh, yeah, indeed. I mean, they see the time running down now, they see a big win on the cards here that blows open the top of the championship. Yeah, it just lets, I think, one or two in, even all, I think. Helps Hull. They're worried for Burnley in a minute. They're not really building any head of steam up, no. are they? No, no. I think there comes a time when Ashley Barnes has to play a part here. It's wide for Ward. Ward to try and get a cross in here, perhaps. He's looking towards Sam Volks. Does win the head of Volks. Wide of the target. But I tell you what, Stockdale was moving to his right hand side. Good ball in that from Ward. Burnley's best chance of the second half. And Volks couldn't quite get the direction with the header. But a chance nonetheless for Burnley, Darren. Well, it's something. It's something to build on, isn't it? And, and you know, the, the closer we get towards the whistle, you'd expect Brian to start backtracking to protect what they've got. They know it's a huge victory they get it. They're not going to go throwing bodies forward in search of a third, I'll tell you that. No, keen to deal with this. Hasn't quite got it away, but he'll win the goal kick here. Good work from Michael Keane. Big and strong. Crowd getting excited. But he's done well there. So the last change, is, is that Barnes for Boyd, would you think? Yes. Just thinking ahead, the 16 minutes remaining, Dean Marnie looking longer here. The Burnley go more direct, great to get a touch here. Always oh, turned away from Dunk, Dunk did well to win it. It is a Burnley throw. Ridden his luck a touch against Andre Gray. Here's Lowton. What's great to get in the middle, obviously. Lowton with it. Finds Taylor, back to Lowton. Lowton for Barton, Barton inside for Marnie. Wasn't the easiest of balls, but Marnie's helped it on nicely for Ben Mee. Can he get across in here now, Ben Mee? Looking to just drive this forward, clips it in there, looking towards Gray, Burnley peeling for something in there, not quite sure what. Kale will come away with the ball. Uses Bruno, Bruno for Knockhart. The crowd loving Knockhart today. He's been uh, exceptional. Again, Knockhart, ball inside, maybe not as adventurous now. They're looking to keep possession. It's the Chris Uton way, once you've got an advantage, you don't go hell for leather at sides. Kick from Stockdale, looking through the middle for Wilson. Had a one by Keane, former Manchester United teammates, of course. Barton got pushed inside the centre circle, Dale Stevens on him. And it'll be a Burnley free kick, 15 minutes remain. Darren, 15 massive minutes for Burnley. Yep, yep, absolutely, Phil. It's going to be uh, Tom Eaton to take it. Inside the centre circle, Burnley half. Keane gone forward. Ben Mee gone forward. Brighton crowd getting behind their team. They lead here by two goals to one. Eaton into the mix. Can Burnley win ahead? No, not on that occasion. Dunk to get it away. Helped by Hamed. Wilson looking to counter-attack. Mee's just pushed him over. This time it's a Brighton free kick inside the Brighton half. Last change, Burnley've got a last change. For me, we want to see Ashley Barnes here now. And see if Ashley Barnes can get that fairy tale story at the Amex. It's going to be Stockdale. Big boot into the Burnley box. Lawton, not an entirely convincing clearance, but did get it away. Ben me. Offside against Gray, is it here? No, Dunk won it anyway, didn't get through to Gray. Here's Murphy, good touch from him, but Lowton was ready for it. Knocks it out of play. Brighton throw. Instructions for Sam Volks from Sean Dyche. It's Gray just playing a little bit deeper for the minute. 13 and a half minutes remain. Brighton and Old Albion 2, Burnley 1. Remember, Burnley haven't lost since Boxing Day. Lowton to deal with it now against Hamed, looks to get it forward, here's Volks, can't reach it, easy one for Connor Goldson, and he'll touch it back to his keeper. 
Stockdale with the clearance. Through the middle looking for Wilson. Ben Meter win a good header. Boyd to win the next ball. Great to try and touch it on. Didn't work out for him. But Boyd's battling away to win it again. Caught by Kyle. Bit of Burnley free kick. Halfway line. Kyle almost fell on uh, George Boyd. Here's Barton. Uses Lowton. Crowd not happy with the referee. Lowton inside. Couldn't find his man. Looked tired a little bit from Matt Lowton. Hamed uh, hurt himself in the process. It's back with him though. Looks early. Good ball. Finds Murphy. And Murphy's onside. Entering the box now, plenty in the middle, he's found the man. No, he hasn't. Might still fall here, though. Can knock out to collect, edge of the box. Blocked well by Burnley. Bruno to battle and win the next one. Can't keep it in play. Burnley throw. Big chance that, wasn't it, to seal it for Brighton? Just didn't get his lines right at all, then he put it across the box. And I think we are going to see Ashley he stood up then, but he's sat down again. There's changes afoot. Got to get the last one right. It's your last chance in the game, isn't it? Here's Keane for Lowton. 12 minutes remain. Remember Burnley drew at Cardiff 2-2, two, two, two down with five minutes to go. Late goal at Ellen Road, early on in the season, well, the first game of the season. Drew at Forest 1-1 one, one when they were trailing. Here's Knockhart again, though. Again, Burnley. Marnie's just trying to just give a bit of support for Stephen Ward. Who is getting back now, but Knockhart getting the better of Marnie. Looking to go to the byline, I think that's a goal kick. He's given us a goal kick. Exactly. Knockhart right in the face of the linesman. But it will be a Burnley goal kick. Change. Ashley Barnes. Oh, what a story this is. Against his former club, he's worked ever so hard to get back. Well, there's Picked the fairy tale. There's yeah. the fairy tale. He comes on and gets the goal for Burnley. All we need now is a little bit of magic dust to be sprinkled out there. Yeah. Had a one at the back by Goldson. More about Ashley Barnes in just a moment. Ball's in play. It's with Ward against his former club. Can he get a ball in there? Just clips it down the line for Boyd. Too much on it. Cross comes Stevens to deal with it. Hooks it out for a throw. Is this a change? Not quite ready, Burnley. Instructions for Ashley Barnes. This is the moment. Injured. Last game of the Premier League season at Villa. Clumsy challenge from Fabian Delf, but Burnley just taking the throw, left-hand side, touch back to Stephen Ward, can he get a cross in here, he's looking to, towards the middle, keeper coming, Stockdale, always the favourite, always the favourite, and collected it, change as well, far, oh, booted into the press area, just a row in front of us, Brighton fans in no hurry to get it back, Stewart grabs it. Uh, Burnley make the change. We're going to see the Cameroon international Gaten Bong. He used to play at Wigan. Final ten minutes. But what I would say, Darren, surely there's going to be some substantial added oh, At least time. five, I would think, Phil. At least five. We're going to have the subs anyway, aren't we? So that's going to be three. Then, of course, you've got a few treatments from the, from the uh, players out there. And I think we're looking at five comfortably, I would have thought. Yeah. Yeah, certainly three times the Brighton train has been on. Gaten Bong to come on. Who makes way? Is it Knockhart? No, it's Bruno, isn't it? It's Bruno. He was stretching a little bit earlier. And it's Gaten Bong to come on. Hasn't played much recently. Former Olympiakos defender. He'll go to right back. Bruno taking an age to get off. And Barnes is on. I haven't seen who's come off though yet. Yeah, actually Barnes on. Uh, is it Gray. Andre? Andre Gray's made way, hasn't he? Burnley made that change. Had all the build-up. And almost snuck him on, didn't we? Almost snuck him on. So it's Folks and Barnes up front now. We saw them a little bit at the end of the promotion season. Is that a surprise? Did, did, did you feel three up? I thought he might have done. I thought he might have done. I thought he might have took George off and put Ashley on as a, a sort of third striker and really gone for it. But I guess he feels that Here's he does Murphy. have some oh. Here's Murphy. Helps it on towards Knockhart. Big chance here. Well, he looked to find Murphy again. It's a really poor ball. I suggest it's the only thing he's got wrong today. Goal kick Burnley. So Barnes on for Andre Gray. Here's Dean Marnie. 
Burnley have got to find an equaliser from somewhere. Eight minutes of the 90 remain. We think at least five minutes additional time. Here's Taylor looking long, looking towards Barnes. Does win the header. Barton with the next touch. Well, couldn't get out of his feet. Boy with a shot wide of the target. Burnley think there was a deflection. Referee says no. Goal kick for Brighton. So we, we get more direct now, do we, from here? I think you've got to do, Phil. You've got to get the ball up to your fruit. Your two men up there, Ashley Barnes and Sam Vaux, who will win headers all day long up there. So you've got to get the ball forward. Equally, you've got to get the Bartons and the Marnies and the Taylors and the Boyds in support right up alongside him for the knockdowns. Burnley will hope there's another chance in the game for them. Lowton to get it back to his keeper. So unfortunate, Tom Heaton, with the second. Looked to have it covered. Just bounced down, hit the turf and ballooned up off Michael Keane. Fox to try and win the header. Will break for George Boyd. Kept on for his energy, I think. Just couldn't get the ball, though, for knock out and nicked it off him. It's now with Hamed. Hamed. Was he caught by Boyd? No, he slipped. It's going to be Lowton. Going to see Steve Sidwell. On loan from the Premier League. Taylor delivers a ball into the mix, looking for Barnes. Dummied, the keeper will collect. Got to get that ball right, haven't you? If you're playing it through the middle, you've got to find Barnes and Volks with it. Sidwell to come on. But uh, that spell at Chelsea, when his career looked to be really heading for the top heights, never really got game time at Stamford Bridge. Did score twice at the with Dean for Brighton against Burnley all those years ago when he was on loan from Arsenal and then went and repeated the trick for Reading at Turf Moor that season. Kick forward, Barnes across to try and win it. Dunk wins the header, Barnes has taken a knock here. Bang to the head, I think. Bang to the head, the referee's seen it. He's seen the player getting to his feet. So he's happy to play on, and rightly so. I think he's got that just about right, Craig Pawson. Burnley need ball here, near possession. Haven't really created anything second half. Barnes OK, picked himself up. Sidwell to come on. Had a lot of changes as well. Trainer on three times. Sidwell on. Hamed to come off. The crowd thinking final five minutes. I think it's going to be substantially more than that. Sidwell on. Tom Hamid to make way. They like him here. Just pulled up moments ago. Chris Hume. I'll tell you what, Chris Hume was a small footballer, wasn't he? Mm. Tottenham, wasn't he? He played for Tottenham back in the 80s. Tom Mohammed withdrawn. It's just to supplement the midfield, I think. It's a Brighton throw on that right hand side. Burnley should clear the lines here. They will do. Come away with the ball with Barton. Knocks it on for Taylor. Taylor doesn't have enough pace on the ball. He had to go backwards. Here's Ward. Ward under pressure back to his keeper. Final five minutes of the 90. There will be time added on. Can Burnley get an equaliser? Here's Michael Keane. Keane looking long here. Looking to try and find Ashley Barnes and Sam Vox. Sam Vox with the header on. Clearances from Dunk. Got a good clearance on it. Barton to the loose ball first, but only for the benefit of the Brighton defence. Oh, and Lawton very nearly nicked it. Gayton Bonk's gone to uh, left back. There's been some disruption here. rossini has gone to right back. Here's Taylor. Ball in. Too deep, I think. Easy one for Rossini. I think Ward will put him under pressure. Has to gamble. The ball forward can find Knockhart here. Barton to try and win it. Knocked it out of play. And that'll be a Brighton throw. Barton in there to retrieve the ball. Hand it to Knockhart. In no hurry to take the throw. Man of the match is going to be Knockhart, isn't it? Has to be. No, it hasn't. It's gone to Kyle. A bit surprised by that. Kyle's been good. But I thought Knockhart was the star performer of the game. Shows what I know. Rossini with the throw. Ward to win the header. Another throw for Barton. Three and a half minutes remain of the 90. Burnley defending a 15-game unbeaten record in the league. Just not seeing enough of the ball at the minute. That'll be left with it for Tom Heaton. Tom Heaton to collect. Will he kick it long? He rolls it out. Barton to touch it on for Ward. Ball's got to go forward for me here. Ward under pressure. 
back for Ben Mee. It's got to go long, I think. Burnley have got to just change the way they play it a little here. With Barnes and Volks up front. Touch back for Keane. Barton. Barton looking down the line for Lowton. Up against Gate and Bong. That'll be interesting. Lads out of the court. Not played a lot of football. It's inside for Marnie. Marnie to clip a ball in. Looking in there. It's headed behind. Rossini with the header. Burnley's first corner of this second half. Whoa, that was a good ball in from Dean Marnie, Darren. Very good. That's what he needed more of, really, Phil. Absolutely. Yeah, just a little more guile, perhaps, on that occasion. Matty Taylor to deliver. Set piece time. Not the biggest of sides. Can Burnley impact here? Swung in by Taylor. Right into the mix. Key! It's yes! there! Burnley level. Has he got it? Burnley think he's got it. Oh, Burnley think he's got in. This is going to be controversial. Looked like to me that had gone in. Kyle, Burnley are furious. Oh, this could be a turning point in the championship season. Everybody craning to see. Looked to me like that had gone in. Head of one. Oh, it's in. It's definitely in. Burnley have been denied an equaliser. Oh, dramatic. Definitely in. The linesman. Whoa, was he level? Drama here. It should be 2-2. Michael Keane has got an equaliser, definitely in, clearly in, no doubt whatsoever. What was the linesman doing there, Darren? It's happened again, hasn't it? Lowne was denied earlier. Oh, we'll be talking about this for so long. Should be goal line technology at this level. Ball into the mix, Burnley do win the head, another corner. But I'm afraid the officials have let Burnley down here. That was definitely in. Burnley should be level at 2-2. Massive stroke of luck for Brighton. 90 seconds remain. Clearly over the line. Michael Keane's header. Had a couple of attempts to try and clear it. Corner to swung in here from Taylor. Right into the mix. Burnley win the header but wide of the target. Darren, words don't explain. Words don't explain. Nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. That's a shocker, isn't it? It's a shocker. It's clearly over the line, Darren. And the gaffer knows that. He just asked the Sky guys and they've told him it's over the line. That linesman shouldn't get another game this season, Darren. That is poor. That is so poor. Burnley denied here. Michael Keane, wasn't it, with the header? Oh, well, we'll still talk about this for so long. So long. It's a swing as well, isn't it? Just like two weeks ago. Ball forward from Taylor. Clearly over the line. What was the linesman doing? Barn to stab it forward, dunk to win it, but we will have considerable added time. Marnie to win the next header. Burnley look like they've been denied here. Definitely looked over the line on replay. Sky so quickly got an answer. That information should go to the officials, Darren Shirley. Well, there should be goal line technology, Phil. Simple as yeah. that. That's the end of it. We're playing for a big pot here. Here's Barton to stab it wide, Loughton in space, five minutes. to get a cross in here, it's five additional minutes, ball to the back post, and a one by Ward, keeper's taken it, Barton's tried to uh, snatch it out of his hands, will be a free kick, five additional minutes, well there's going to be some talking points here, two decisions from the linesman, he had judged Loughton to have carried the ball out of play and he hadn't, and that header from Michael Keane should have been an equaliser. It was over the line. Ward to win that header. Keane to touch it on for me. Me back inside for his keeper. It's Heaton. Can Burnley get what they deserve in time added on? Denied by a poor decision. Barnes to win that. Flick it on looking for Taylor. Taylor. I mean, I thought by the naked eye, I thought it was in. I've got to say that. The linesman was poor. Foul here by Duncan Barton. I mean, the naked eye told you it was in, Darren. Didn't well, we it? thought it was. It was a tight one. To be fair, it was tight. But we thought it was in. And you can see with the Burnley players' reactions, they thought it was in as well. I mean, where are we? Almost on the halfway line. We've got it right from here. Why can't the linesman get it right from where he is? Burnley've got a free kick. Barton fouled by Dunk. What, 30 yards from goal? So many talking points. Taylor to wing this in. Can Burnley get a little bit of justice in time added on here? Plenty in the mix. Brighton hanging on a little here. Taylor needs some quality from him. Free kick to be delivered by Taylor now. Swung in, it's a great ball in there. It's headed behind. It'll be another corner. Tell you what, Brighton are really hanging on in here, Darren. 
really hanging on. Burnley desperate to get the ball, Taylor will take it. Matty Taylor with his delivery. I mean, if there's any justice in the world, Burnley would surely score from this corner. Swung right in there, ball in there, yeah! yeah! Michael Keane! Oh, that's Come justice! On! That is justice at the Amex Come Stadium! On! Burnley are level and deserve to be, denied by the officials. It's all square here and it's Michael Keane with the header. What a story, Darren. In injury time, justice is done. Brighton 2, Burnley 2. And it's Michael Keane, would you believe it? Justice, Would you believe it? it with the header? Michael Keane. Matt. Just silence the Amex, and I'll tell you what, Phil. Well, oh, that's You gone. can tell by the reactions of the Burnley players. I'll tell you out there. what. You can tell by the reactions of the Burnley players out there. They know. Just what that means to them. They know. And the, I vote. tell you, the Did officials you? have gone off the hook here. The linesman to our right hand side has gone off the hook because that is an appalling decision from him. Well, Burnley are level. <sighs> well, calm down, Breathe. shall we? <laughs> But it's got so many ramifications for the top of the division, hasn't it? Of course it has, Phil. It what also a means, story here. It also means a rewrite from our match report. But no, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Happily back. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Michael Keane is fourth of the campaign. Almost identical to the, to, to the ball that wasn't cleared off the line. Now then, Burnley have got to defend well in the last few minutes here. Because we're certainly going to have two additional minutes here. But they've got some work to do still. Barnes are hooking away. They'll come back Brighton here now, Bong with the ball, left hand side, it's two apiece here, Murphy to try and get a ball in, swings it in, maybe he needs to win the header if he can, will it go through to the keeper, Ward to try and head it away, oh it's going to fall here, it's going to fall for Kyle, but Barton's nicked it off him, we'll just clear his lines here, I think with a minute of the five additional, plus there'll be 30 seconds for the goal, so I think we've probably 90 seconds here, Michael Keane got a second equaliser for Burnley, in dramatic style but we're going to talk about goal line technology after this game it should be in the championship i've said that before and we'll say it again There's too much money at stake phil There's Absolutely. too much money at stake for it not to be goldson in possession it's 2-2 here burnley i've got to see the game out still there'll be a minute plus here Ball into the mix, Wilson to try and flick on. Keane to win a header at the back here. Burnley battling to try and get some possession. Barton to try and flick it away. Keane's got some distance on it, thankfully. Headed on, Barnes is chasing it. Barnes to get away from his man here. Oh, my word! Lewis Dunk on the halfway line. But it's given, given, against, given, against, Barnes, given yeah. against Barnes. Oh, I'd want to have a look at that again. I'd want to have a look at that again. That looked harsh. There's a bit of a tug of the sleeve, was the Drama at the Amex. Brighton have got a chance at the death here. They'll swing it in. Burnley have got to see it out. We're coming up to the end of five minutes here. Kyle, oh, knock out to get it in, sorry. Headed away by me. Boyd to try and win the next ball. Needs to hook it away, Boy. Helps on towards Barnes. Touchback is for Ward. To the left back berth. Ward's got a good old fashioned boot through it and out of play for a throw. Gone to the fourth official, Burnley the same time's up. Darren Deadman is under pressure from Burnley now. We've played the five additional well, he'll, minutes. He'll play about 30 for seconds the, extra because of the celebrations, the I think. For the Bill. goal, yeah, for the goal. So Burnley just going to be on their guard here. Don't want to be giving anything away here. Oh, it's going to be on Ben Mee. Can Burnley deal with it here? There is cover. Stephen Ward across to win the challenge, but it'll be a throw deep inside the Burnley half. We play 30 that's it, seconds. That's it. That's it. No, no, is, is it? it? Has he blown? I think yes, he, he has. has. Massive point for Burnley. Whoa, massive point for the Clarets. And justice was done at the end. How do we start to tell that story? Two one a half time. Stevenson can knock out for Brighton. Gray with the first equaliser. But then the game. Well, drama towards the end. Michael Keane had equalised for Burnley. The officials didn't give it. It was clearly over the line. I'm in pandemonium out there. Almost a direct replica from another Matty Taylor corner. Keane won the header and justice was done. Burnley had the equaliser. But there's so much to tell you about today. But the most important thing is there's problems out on the pitch as well. Bit of a scuffle. But the story is, Darren, most importantly, Burnley's unbeaten run continues in the league. Absolutely, and they keep Brian where they wanted them, at arm's length. That's a real result from today, Phil. And you know what? This will steal Burnley. This will yeah. really steal Burnley now, because they've come back from the dead here today, having been denied, and they could have gone under. 
after yeah. that goal went over the line yeah. and wasn't yeah. given. Yeah. But instead, they found the will to get something from the game and keep Brighton four points adrift. That's yeah. two wins away from Burnley because of our goal difference. And two home games coming up this week could now be pivotal yeah. in the season. Yeah, how this championship turns on injury time, Darren. We saw it two weeks ago. We saw it Middlesbrough Hull. Injury time is so important, isn't it? And you know what, though, Phil? Burnley only in the last ten minutes really started yeah. to build that and build that head of steam. If they'd done that ten minutes earlier, we might well have won this game. Instead, we've got the point. What a point it is. You could say we denied two points. No, because if, this, if the first one goes in, the second one probably doesn't happen. Because well, well, Burnley go back up. some butts. Yeah, but some I, butts. I don't think you said Burnley denied two points because of the decision. Because the, the second one wouldn't have happened. No. But no, what agree. Burnley have done, and look at Sean Dyche marching purposefully off here. What Burnley have done is sent a signal out to everybody else, including 29,000 fans here today, that they are not going to give up on this no, very lightly. No. Thanks, Darren. Justice done here. Burnley denied an equaliser by the linesman. Ball clearly over the line, but Michael Keane almost with a direct replica. Thumping header past the keeper to make it 2-2. Burnley on 76 points. Middlesbrough 73. Brighton on 72. Seven left. Burnley's lead is three over Middlesbrough. Four over Brighton. Everything to play for. We'll see you on Tuesday. Cardiff City, the visitors. Another pivotal game here at Turf Moor on Tuesday. But for now, we'll leave you the news. Drama at the Amex. Burnley snatch a point at the end. Justice was done. Michael Keane with the headed equaliser. Finish Brighton 2, Burnley 2. We'll see you on Tuesday. Goodbye from me. Hello, Clarets fans. Phil Bird here. Make sure you subscribe to Burnley's official YouTube channel and turn on notifications, otherwise you might miss moments like this. Oh, what a goal! <laughs> and Wood was there to finish it! You're just spitting Glenn Little, look at us. Enjoy the video and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Up the Clarets. Hello Clarets fans, Phil Bird here. Make sure you subscribe to Burnley's official YouTube channel and turn on notifications, otherwise you might miss moments like this. Oh, what a goal! <laughs> and Wood was there to finish it! You're just spitting Glenn Little, look at us. We hope you enjoyed the video and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Up the Clarets.